Good evening everyone, I just missed the time a slight there, being confused as to why it says there are drops enabled on the stream. There shouldn't be. There... no, that's not how this works. Anyway, um, how about we jump in to a little bit of uh, Minecraft, shall we? Is that the right screen? That is not the right one. Let me try again. Minecraft, shall we? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Anyway, welcome everybody. Hope you are doing well where you are around the world. Hello there, Betty. Hello there, Riley Asleep. Hello there, Arkane. Hello, Cosmo. Hello, Volteno. How is everyone today? There shouldn't be any drops. Or if there are any drops, they're nothing to do with me. At least not on Twitch. Game drops. Yeah, yeah, they're on. That's a thing. But, uh, yeah. You can't read? Ah, fair enough then. Well... I will let you off on your inability to read. This is Minecraft, and uh, I have nicknamed this area the Flower Valley. It might be pretty obvious in a moment why it oh, it's fucking dark. Hello, Bubblebee. Let's <clears throat> let's get back to the Flower Valley in just a moment. When it's nice and sunny. Hello there, Super Yubia. Good to be here after a long day. Good to be here. Welcome in. So yes. Ha! Flowers. I mean, look at how many flowers there are here. These are all naturally spawned flowers. All of this. All, it just it just keeps on blooming, going. Look how many of them there are. Absolutely huge patch of flowers right here. Absolutely huge. And I live in a valley, so it's a flower valley. Makes sense to me. Makes perfect sense to me. So yeah. I was going to say, finally got all of Kalevo's parts. Nice. Good shout, good shout. Kalevo is in a lovely frame. I'm going to grab all of these because, uh, you know, rockets don't make themselves. Yet. <laughs> that update is just around the corner. I didn't think we were going to get auto-crafting in Minecraft, I'll be honest with you. So, the fact that auto-crafting is coming to Minecraft, amazing. I'm very happy about that. Because, yeah, even... The construction of rockets can be completely automated now, which is wild. Hello, Ladybug. Here to hang out while I wait for a roomie to get home so we can make mac and cheese. Ah, fair do, fair do. You are welcome to hang out here for as long or as little as you like. Welcome to stick around. Uh, Betty is saying, pit period started Monday, already at 55 hours, can't wait for your day off tomorrow. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah, I... Have yourself a nice lovely day off there, absolutely. There's only so much work you can do before you collapse. Doesn't matter who you are, there are limits. Right, now this slightly ugly looking room, and I will admit it is slightly ugly. I, I tried for a palette, it's um... Well, it's not going to be to everyone's taste. I know that much for a fact. But the idea for this room is that it could function as a storage. Or something. I'm, I'm probably going to be using it for storage because if we have a look at the lovely little cottage over here, um, it's it's a bit packed. It's uh, it's it's a bit packed. Like th these chests ain't looking too great. I'll be honest with you. There are some attempts at sorting. Did it really just start raining? <sighs> we come to games to get away from life, not to have more of it. Anyway. So yes, need to work on that. Need to work on that. So for every type of organization system, I mean, it's not terrible. I have shiny stuff and coal in here, and I have things to mine in here, and I have redstone stuff in here. I've got building materials. I've got gray building materials. I've got dark gray building materials. I've got other building materials, and then we get into the assorted crap chests. <laughs> so it's not all a mess, it's just 
a lot of a mess. It's quite a bit of a mess. Also, um, I have a bit of copper. I, I have a little bit of copper to work with, so that is good. If I need to build anything out of copper, I can. That's going to be more useful in the upcoming updates for 121, but for now, it's a bunch of copper. Basically, yeah. Okay, Predator, you did similar last stream. That is actually straight up begging. Especially highlighting the message, that is a dick move. Please don't do that, Predator. That, that is straight up a dick move. Anyway, so what I would like to do is uh, basically get this into an up and running storage system. But then the question is, do I just go ham on the chests? Or do I invest in materials to have some kind of sorting going on? The question is then also, what kind of sorter can I use? As uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I want to set this up. Because if I like do sorting tiles, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight here, and then bring it around. I could probably do sixteen across here, and then another maybe sixteen across here, and sixteen across here. If I did all that. If I got all that together, so that'd be 16, 32, uh, 48, 56 items, which really doesn't feel like a lot to have sorted. And I know there are more complicated sorters that can have multiple items in one set of chests. I have no idea how to build those ones, and I'm fairly certain they won't fit this footprint. That's, uh, hmm. Yeah. Uh, why is highlight like 350 points? Uh, it was bumped up to 1,000 for the, uh, what do we call it? Uh, for the QTCC stream on the 14th. And since then I brought it back down to 350. Uh, rather, I think it was something like, something really low before, like 100 or something. So I put it to 350. So yeah. I might need to change the price, that's why. Uh, Lady would say, do I remember right, you all recommended Hermit Craft during a Minecraft stream a while back? Yes, I did recommend it, and uh, I'm glad you've been enjoying binging it. It's a wonderful community over there. It was 100 before. Yeah, fair enough, brother. So, now it's 350. So, if you want to highlight a message, it better be a message worth highlighting. Uh, not begging for a sub. Yeah. Because I will straight up time you out if you do that again. <laughs> so, uh... I think in terms of storage, I'm probably going to have to go with ordinary chest approach for now. I see, we've got some very important messages to highlight right now, Fedu. I might just go with ordinary uh, chest storage, but uh, what I could do is I could set up a sorter for like the top chest and then have ones below which aren't sorted, they are just thematically linked and that's where I can put the junk items into, the uh, the miscellaneous rather than having a super huge footprint for excessively sorting things when I don't have the means or need to excessively sort. Do I think I can beat the game? Yes. I have my silly pad equipped. I think I've done well. I think I've done well. Cheers for the hydrate. Forgot about the silly pad? Yeah, I'll be honest, until just then I had also forgotten we named it silly pad. So uh, that's a thing. Hello, Darth Wash Bear. Say good evening from Austria. Well, good evening to you as well. Right. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with that approach then. I'm gonna go with that approach of chest on the bottom two rows, sorted chest on the third row, which means I need to set up the filters for all of that lot and the footprint for that. I've forgotten exactly how far it comes out, but I think it comes out a fair distance, doesn't it? Hmm. It's making me consider and reconsider my approach here. This room might actually end up being too small. And I might instead just move the villagers in here or something. But they seem happy out. Yeah, I probably should put a roof on that as well. Alright, you never made an automatic sword before? I have, yeah. What mode am I playing? Uh, this is survival hard. I'm just on this real quick. And sword is a terrifying beast. It's just remembering where the redstone bits go, to be quite honest with you. It's just a case of remember. What happened here? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't I don't know why there's dripstone there, and I don't want to know why there's dripstone there. Do I have cheers on me? Of course I don't. That would make life easy. Uh... Hmm. 
this is fine. I'll do, I just... There we are. Uh, we can stack that, stack that, stack that, stack that. Plenty of space to work with. Let's go get a bunch of wool. So we can start putting a canvas on this. Villager breeders? Vill we had a villager breeder, like, wasn't it day one here? Or at least stream one? Would be literal day one. Yeah, Villager Breeder and Iron Farm was one of the very earliest things I got going. That's why I could grab all this iron just now. I say all this iron, I grabbed two, but why I had all that iron to grab from. Oh, I've forgotten what an absolute cluster it is in here. <laughs> Automatic sheep shearing setup also required at some point. Gonna need to uh, automate all the things eventually. Let's see, how much should I grab there? Uh, stacking a bit, that's not enough. Bleacher is just a functional sign downer. I mean, you're yeah, not wrong. Yeah, this is the iron farm. For anyone who's not seen this before, if this is your first time seeing this particular world, uh, it's actually really simple. Hello there, that guy. This is it right here. This is a variation of the design by Impulse SV. So we got three villagers here. They've got themselves enough job site blocks to uh, have one go of a job. So one job site block. This zombie bouncing away here. They are protected from the sun. They've also got the helmet just in case you know, I need to move around. It makes it easier. And these ones can not only spawn baby villagers, which is what the extra beds are for, but they can also spawn golems. So if I feed them, they'll uh, pop down pop out babies, the babies will try to bounce on this bed or the other bed, and in running to it, they'll then fall down, drop into the water, and drop under the lava. Do -do 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 -do. Safely down into here, to be collected when needed. Whereas the golems, they get stuck up there in the lava, they die, their drops come down into this hopper and into this chest. It works so well. It works so, so well. No, it's just certified. What do you mean? I've got my safety wings equipped. I'm fine. I've got my hard hat. I got my safety wings. It's all good. Uh, that guy. That is not how you use your DJ. That is definitely not how you use it. Right then. So let's let's uh, think about awning first. Do I have more wool? I do, and I have different colours of wool. That is good. That is good. So I've got two different colours of wool. Do I have any more going around? Maybe? Maybe? Okay. A little tiny bit of that. Uh, that's a stack. Alright, looks like that's what I've got to work with. So, I can probably make an awning out of this. Because they need an awning. Let's get that going first. Then I can do all the rest. The question is, how do I want to go about shaping this? I think... Can I... Can I... No. Alright. If I kind of go like this... Oop, I need to be up on height. And uh, not quite sure... Yeah, if I do a, a single slope, if I do a straight slope down rather than a uh, two-tiered thing, that should look nice. Give some grandeur to this market. And I can have it supported on a uh, fence post so it looks normal. Let's see, so I need to go across one more. That was not how to do it. Okay, yeah, so that that shape should do it. Love the new display for latest sub tip, etc. Very stylish. Thank you. Appreciate that. Hello, Tabitha. How are you doing? Okay, so if we uh, pop ourselves into here, if we just give that one, one more block, that should line up nicely. Yep, there we go. And then. Can I get away with one blocking the interiors rather than two? Will that look weird? Oops. That's a two. So 
So if we have it where it's coming across like that, uh, no, 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 I, th I think having the edge in there will be fine. When that comes all the way across, that should look fine. And so I have fence posts all the way up to them to support them across the top. So we'll have a single slant all the way over. But that is very steep. Mm, no, no, no. Oh yes, there are new alerts as well. So gifting a sub uh, or tipping the stream with bits, both of those produce new alerts now. The bits have you. Oh god! Need to activate flight for flight to work. My bad. Anyway. Worthwhile? Actually, yes. I want that. Where's my emeralds? Where's emeralds? 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 All right then. That works. <laughs> <laughs> Betsy, thank you very much for the 25 gifted subs right there. Yeah, I was uh, I was part way through explaining the uh, the alerts, and you decided to just make it happen. Thank you very much for the gifted subs there. Let's see, who's that going out to? That's going out to Raza One, to the Witch Guard, to Minchty Game, to uh, Naguka, to Grumpy Pants, to Eduardo Coronai, to Kisera, to Z1 Alpha, to Cerulean Serres, to Apophis of Chaos, to CPDBQ, to Harsh405, to Donna12, to Edwin N95, to Chromalist, to Tyriff Alphard, to Eye of Beholder, to Real Carter, to Simrochad, to King Guxel, to. Oh, King Ghoul, I think that's supposed to be. It's just this whole thing of turning letters into X for some reason. Uh, to VM115, to Steve Prime G, to Argentum, to Triple, and to Pixel Ninja123. Betty, thank you very, very much for the sort before there. Really do appreciate that. Absolutely appreciate that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Cosmo, I don't agree. <laughs> I don't agree. Uh, so yeah, Emeralds, uh, there's, there's nine. Oh, it's in my inventory. I, I might have to go get some more, but let's see. Where do you go? What are you, what are you doing over here? Hey! 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 Wandering trader, stop wandering. Yeah, I want one three. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay, 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 stay. I'm gonna grab some of you. And then we head on over to, I think, you. Yep. There we go. I guess we have a 12 emeralds to work with. Where you at? 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 There we are. Lovely. Alright then, cool. Uh, just a moment, Chad, because this guy's now got to head on out. out so it's uh, just a. Uh, don't mind anything for a moment. There's absolutely nothing you need to worry about right now. Please ignore the uh, the sounds you may be hearing. You know, it's just a slight uh, slight bug on the stream at the moment. Don't worry about it. And uh, yeah, I've, I've fixed the bug now. Everything is fine. So, uh, don't worry about it. Ev everything is fine and dandy. We're all good. Uh, <clears throat> let me just... Uh, I'll pick those up in a sec. Actually, I don't need a random crafting table on me. That's fine. So yeah, anyway. Oh yeah, yeah, he, he dropped some leather for me as well, because he, you know, just such a great person actually buying from the uh, wandering trader. So yeah, got, got a bonus before he left, that was all. You just, just heard us discussing that. Anyway, uh, now we can drop all that stuff off. Uh, let's just slap all the iron into somewhere. There we are, I'll do for now. And I was in the midst of doing some Constructorinos. So yeah, this slope on here, this is too much. This slope is definitely too much. So I'm going to bring it down uh, to instead come in uh, two across, then one up. Which should look a lot better. So first I do need to uh, clean up all of this. And the best way to do that is actually... Uh, let me see here... Oh, I do have a book on me. Good, good. I just say hi to this guy again. Where do all my iron go? Ah, oh, I just put it away. Whatever, I'll go get some more. Cheers, brother. There we are. Got some more iron. Head over to the guy. Do the quick trade. Thank you very much. 
And go to these ones. You are more expensive, but you'll still do it. That's fine. I accept it, it's fine. Uh, let's see there. Did I put signs on these ones? Propped. You, I don't have a sign on. Silk touch. I need signs on all these. Mending. Unbreaking. Efficiency. That fifth. Oh, okay, that's, uh, that's a spicy one right there. I'm going to go check to see in case I have one of those lying around. That would be a lot better. Uh, hmm. What are you? You are infinity. Not what I'm looking for. Nope. Okie dokie. Uh, would I ever play Satisfactory as just a side game and not stream it? Uh, maybe. I'm not looking to add any new games to my repertoire this time, but that is a fat maybe right there. Hmm. You know what? If I just pop the buck in here, what would I get? Protection. Oh, that's all crap. That is all crap. That's not what I need. Uh, do I have. Feel so out of loop? I mean, what do you need looping in on? Okay, let me just cycle the books around. And then power, I mean, power four is nice, but I mean, I could have directly upgraded my bow to power five with that, actually. Sweet. Okay, that that was unintentional, but useful. Come on, don't do this. I just don't want to go through the effort oh, of getting all of those emeralds together. Oh, I'm going to have to, whatever. All right. Congrats on Bot's name. Thank you. It felt like the right thing to do. Okay, Power Bow, Power Book. Oh, only eight for that. Sweet, that's an upgrade. Does Bow need a name? Not yet, no. Nah. Right then. Uh, Emeralds. Let's get more emeralds. I, I, I just need emeralds. Are you ready to trade more? Oh, you are. Good man. There we go. Wait for you to do the thing thingamajig with the stuff. Actually, he might not, given the time of day. Need seven more emeralds. That's going to be 28 iron at the going rates. There we are. Got a little bit more. That's fine. Now I can go to this guy and get up myself an efficiency book. Beautiful stuff. Uh, I would also like to get mending and unbreaking on this, if I'm going to spend out this much. Uh, that would be another 30 emeralds, and I need the bucks, which could be another 9, unless I can do the buck myself. Which I can, because I just happened to do a trade with that wandering villager, didn't I? No. Uh, let's see, did I store it anywhere? Or is it still in my inventory? No, I stored it. Where did I store it? There it is. Cool, cool. Bucks. There we are, just what I needed. I'm just coming to some level. Yeah, it just kind of, you know, happens from time to time. As villagers are a noisy bunch, they are a bit, yeah. They got a lot to talk about, you know. Villager stuff. As has the cat. The cat's got a lot of stuff to talk about. Also, villager stuff, believe it or not. Come on. There we are. Cats always have a lot to talk about. Surprisingly, not my cat. My IRL cat does not have anywhere near as much to talk about. Unless she feels lonely. Then she lets everything and everyone nearby know that she feels lonely. If these lot allowed, whew, they're nothing at that point. Nothing. Also, I think I just got a cat hair fall on my face. Where did that come from? Anyway. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Rise and shine. Daylight's burning. Hit your table. Hit it. Hit your table. Hit your table. Table. Uh, table. Table. <sighs> I 
see. Okay. What if I jump on it? Bop, bop, bop. Is that fun enough? Hmm. Oh, let me get. Let me get full village mode for him. Table. God damn it. All right, whatever. Hello, Johnny. Whatever. Let's just. There we go. All right then. All right, all right. You take these, trade up, give emeralds. All right now we let him do it again. My villager sounds woke you up from your nap. I'm surprised the rest of my stream hasn't. Mildly insulted. Just mildly. Come on. Come on, all the others are sitting at their tables again. You hit your table again. Back. I just heard you use it. Why is it not unlocked? What is what is this absolute BS right here? Crying out. Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll use the more expensive. Ah, we'll use more expensive ones. It's fine. I need the emerald, so I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll get more iron. See, iron has been made as we speak. It's fine. Uh, you want to switch to life fight? Yeah, sure. Let's do that. All right. See you, product. Let's switch to the life fights for you. Boop. Okay. Ooh. Don't left click when switching back to game. That that was nearly very very bad. That, that was nearly very, very bad. All right, let me check this guy again, just because he's that much cheaper. Nope, okay. M wild. Oh, that's 30. Okay, cool. That's good. That's what I needed. So, uh, not you. Uh, unbreaking three. And bending. Now, you might be thinking, Ken, what, what, what do you need these bucks for? You're building stuff, right, Ken? What, what do you need these bucks for in particular? Well, as it so turns out, you can enchant shears. You can enchant shears. It costs a few levels to get it to this point, but now I have unbreaking, mending, efficiency shears. Which I bet you never thought you'd hear about. Oh, now this guy's ready to trade. Oh, let's do it. I need the emeralds later anyway. And it fixes that up. This hurts? Ah, but you see. Watch this. Insta break wool. Insta breaking wool. There is no other material I know of that will do that. So yeah. Uh, sorry that this is an English only channel. We have no idea what you just said there. So I'm gonna have to delete that message. But maybe you can uh, translate that for us and let us know what you're on about. Now the wall is wet. Hey, it's fine. It dries off in my pocket very quickly. Um, I'm missing a piece of grey wool. There it is. All right, cool. And crystals wins the great wall. They are not suitable for my purposes here, but thank you. <laughs> very, very not suitable for what we're doing here. Okay, so we come across three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Does that line up? <gasps> that lines up. Oh, that's beautiful. That that is beautiful. It lines up. Okay, cool. So we'll go with that. I think that's gonna look a lot nicer. The question is, do I do it like that? No, I think I I want it on the higher spot, don't I? I do that, that, there we are, yeah, yeah. Yeah, across like that, that looks correct. Uh, in fact, that's two, 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 oh, I should go up one more here. There we are. That's going to look correct. So we just do a couple more rows of that, just to get a full feel for it. And that should be broken off as well. There 
There we are. Yeah, the village is gonna keep saying her. That's villager speak for ya. Just grab that, don't mind me. Okay, so getting a second look at the new angle. Yeah, that's a lot better. That that shallow angle was definitely necessary on that. That that is a much nicer looking angle. That's good. Alright, let's continue that construction. And it's easy to get on this roof. There we are. What a Oops. Go across carefully. I'll pick that up in a second. Let's just do kind of the uh, the top here for now. Don't forget to add lights to this. I know. Lighting comes after. I will add lights. It's daytime at the moment anyway. Nothing can go wrong right now. And looking at the size of this, it's going to end on a white stripe, isn't it? Cool. That's beautiful. Alright, and uh, now let's just do a quick little bit of lighting in here. Actually, you know what I can do? I can be extra smart about this. Let me think. So, if I... Uh, let me think. How how do I go about this one? So I could put some lighting in on say a couple of the grey ones on this block here, in place of where this block goes, and then put grey carpet on top. From outside, that'll look pretty much the same, and on the inside, it shouldn't look too bad. Don't forget to add an Octavius spec to keep your villagers entertained. I'm fairly certain that would end up in death. Probably for the Octavius Spectre somehow, you know, these these are villagers after all. These are villagers. But yeah, I think lighting here will be the trick. Not there, there. Because if I do it there, I can put a carpet on top of this as well. Maybe see about lanterns? Uh, lanterns or torches, that's the thought, yeah. Torches, I mean... Have a look at how that looks. Didn't I just... Oops, did that wrong. Yeah, it still smokes through, doesn't it? Uh, also, we don't know if carpet goes onto lanterns, that's a point. Let me just put some temporary torches there for safety's sake. So, i got some lanterns over here, so let's just... Nick one of these real quick. Yoink. So, first, can I place them on the side of a block? I can't. Okay, well that, that starts screwing up with stuff already. I can put that on there. And breaking it breaks the carpet, so... I don't know how to get the carpet there and then the lance on top of it. No, that's not going to work. Nah, that wouldn't work, yeah. Okay. Let's see how it looks inside at the moment. See how this is coming together. So the torch there, and then I would have white blocks coming across like so. And then it would be grey, white, and then I'd probably do a torch there. And then back to the white blocks. I mean, honestly, that doesn't look too bad. Obviously, I'll have the carpet over the top as well. I don't think that looks too bad. I'm not going to use lava as a light source, no. I use lava as a fuel source. Very different things. My lava is there. Now, I, I think the torches and the... And the, what do you call it, the carpets will do just fine for this design. And we'll finally have a proper awning over these lot. I'll add in a dash of colour later, I just don't have the colour of the world to do it with. Um, okay, these construction blocks on the end... Yeah, they're necessary to make it feel integral, so I'll keep those in. Now, Johnny, you better not be coming out with some bad jokes here. That would be very poor form. 
Oh, I didn't need to put the lantern back. Let's pop you back on your hanger. There we are. Yeah, see, Johnny, that that's just uh, that's a bad joke. It sounds like you were trying to draw attention to yourself rather than enjoy the stream right there. No, you wouldn't be doing that, would you? No, you wouldn't be uh, too busy self-congratulating yourself for shitty jokes to uh, just appreciate the stream now, would you? That would be on poor form. Surely no one here is going to be doing that. I am definitely going to need some more of this wool, aren't I? Uh, torch will go on this one. That is the last of the light grey for now. Hmm. Yeah, gonna need a lot more of that. Let's see how much more I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need uh, one, and then th these rows are gonna have another five on the torch, six normally. So that'd be six and five and six and five. That's 22, 23, I uh, need for the carpets, uh, 24, 25 more light grey wool, okay, 25, uh, you didn't know about carpet? How did you not know about carpet, Betty? How did... What did you think these were called? And not like individual squares, like when you cover a room in them, a whole room. What has that been to you before? Because I'm really curious now. <laughs> I'm really curious about that. Uh, let's see. So I've got a bunch of sheep down here which are all in white. I don't have light grey. All that came from previous sheep. And then I didn't need those sheep. So I called them. Room rug? No, no, Betty, no. There's no way you called the carpet that covers an entire room a room rug. There's rug and there's carpet. There's no way. No. No, I'm not buying that. That's you joshing around. Ooh, look, more like grey. 21. Oh, I need four more. That stone. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. I must have four more somewhere. That's grey. I need light grey. Light grey. No. Come on. <laughs> Ah. Actually, you know what? I said I wanted some colour in this. I can replace one or two of the grey stripes with coloured wool, and then I have enough grey. That does it. Is this my single player game? It is, yeah. Let's see, where would I want this? So if we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these, if I replace three in on each side with yeah, three in from each side with the colour, that'll do the trick. If I take out this then. Okay. Slightly overdid it on the uh, breaking there, that's fine, I can fix that. There we go. So if I break three in this way and then one, two, three. Oh, for goodness sake. This one as well. There we are. And those I can uh, switch over into coloured ones. And that'll do the trick. That'll give me enough of all the walls I need. Because I can get white and then just color it up. Question is though, what color? What color? Hmm. Every time I hum I think about the uh, villagers humming away as well. <laughs> it's it's a useful sound to make. Makes sense if you don't have the world carpet. I mean, it's, it's just still so odd to me, yeah. Uh, let me say, update, Ruby got home, now we're going to listen to the stream while making mac and cheese. That sounds like an absolute plan, you do that. You absolutely do that. Okay, so I'm going to need a little bit more carpet. There we go, I've got the light grey to put into place. But what colour do I do for the white? Or rather, turn the white into for those coloured strips. Because uh, I've got access to a variety of different colours, like, there's not really that much of a limit on me. I could do red, I could do pink, I could do yellow, I could do uh, lilac, blues, purples, probably. Yeah, purple I could do. The only one that's really going to be any pain is going to be brown and green, so let's not do those. 
Let's not do those. I don't have a cactus farm. I don't have a cocoa bean farm. All things that need to be done at some point, but uh, not yet. There we are. New round of manually harvested wool. I will set up an auto farm at some point. I should really get rid of these chickens. Because I'll be quite honest, this... This is inhumane. I don't need this many eggs. Ever. I don't need this many chickens. Ever. I, there's literally just eggs sat here going to waste. I've disconnected the, uh, the redstone that was constantly farming the chickens. I don't need these. I, I, I need to get rid of them at some point. I need to get rid of those at some point. Because, well, quite frankly, if you're an ethical vegan, that's a horrifying sight right there. <laughs> and, uh, well, that accounts for one of my brothers. Is uh, like, Wow, you've certainly set up quite the torture chamber there. And it's true, I have. So, uh, yeah. Uh, at some point, it means some point. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with light blue. I think light blue, gentle blue strips through here would look lovely. Let's grab the bone meal. Let's uh, get ourselves a couple bits of white dye. Get ourselves a couple bits of blue dye. Convert that over into light blue dye. And then the white wool, which most of which is in my offhand. There we are. The white wool into light blue. Oh, is it only one to one? Oh, I thought it was going to be uh, eight to one, like the glass. Oh, dear. Okay, that is that is not the exchange rate I was hoping for. Good thing I'm going for an easy to craft colour. Uh, let me think about how many I'm going to need then. I'm going to want... I'm going to do lighting under them. So if I do... Strips with the lighting. I need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen, seventeen of them. There we are. Seventeen. So, let's uh, grab another 15 of those. There we are. Grab another 15 of those. There we go. Convert that. Th I know how to count. I... whatever. I have some spare die for later when I'm not thinking about it. It's cool. I definitely didn't make too much there. That didn't happen. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I, I'm not intending to do anything with the chickens, so um, I'm probably just gonna end up having to put them out of the misery at some point. It's it's gonna be like that. There's no two roads about it. They are just going to have to um, perish, as they say. Right, let's go construct all of this there. So we'll have a nice, lovely awning. It's coming nighttime again, but who cares? So, uh, the blues can go into here. Yeah, I'm glad I went with the light. Wow, that is actually really bright. If I went with the darker blue, that would have been uh, excessive. So do that there, and then we'll put the marker blocks for them here. There we go. Uh, I just want a torch on this. Do I move that down? Yeah, I do. That's going to look weird otherwise. Oh, bye block. <laughs> bye. Oh, I want that actually. Ow. My face. <laughs> Just about made it. Alright then, so grab you, place here. There we go. Um. So we got that there, that there. Uh, yeah, we can stack those things. Let's 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 do it from the other side. Uh, yeah. So if I fill across here, fill my way across. Oh dear! Give me a step on the uh, fence pole. No! I'm paying attention. I promise you. I am paying attention to what I'm doing. So. Hi guys, don't mind me, just coming through, grabbing some wool, falling all over the place because I'm an amazing architect. 
This new Warframe update? Yeah, this is how you decorate your, uh, Carl's camp. That's Carl over there. It looks a bit unusual right now, I know. It's a skin. Well, if you look up while you're in a villager shack, uh, the villager trading bazaar, thank you very much. And we'll see how it looks all together in a moment. Build first, check after. Because if you keep questioning ideas forever, you never actually get anywhere. I just did that again. Frick! There we are. Was that a good word? Yeah! Kind of makes you want to go maroon. Oh, I should have gone with a maroon. It's not a maroon wool. I don't think there's a maroon wool, is there? Okay, I'm, I'm fine. I, I did miss the obvious, but that's because the obvious doesn't exist. So, I hope you'll let me off of that. There is, there is no maroon. But if there were, I was missing a beat there. Okay, so... Do this and that. I said torch on this one. Blue, blue, blue. Why do I feel like I've not got enough? Did I miscount it? I did. I need one more. Good thing I have the means to make one more. There we are. I'll have a spare carpet, it's fine. <sighs> Alright. Now we got... That's awkward. Get that bit. There we are. So we got those. Bup, 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 bup. All those on here. Those ones. That onto there. This on here. Grey carpet in place. Let's see, so if I... Yeah, let's move that torch over to this one. That'll look better. That will look better. Almost certainly. Okay, which means we can now remove these uh, construction blocks. And uh, let's just check that everything has a block light level of at least one. Yes, all the way down here, all the way around this edge. All the way around here, we get some fours, but that's okay. And everything is looking good here. Yep, that's good. All right, cool. So this, this roof is fully lit. It's fine. It's fine. So even? You're uneven. Get over yourself. If I do this, this. Uh, it's more than going to do that. Bop. And then, uh, let's just chuck that out. Don't need it anymore. Go up, 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 up. There we are. Now you can't even tell there's carpet there. Except for the bit that you can. But at a glance, you have no idea. I think that looks alright. I think that looks alright, actually. Yeah. Doesn't need to be anything overly fancy, but it is enough that says this this is a trading hall. Not sure about little blue in the end. No, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I'm going to own the blue. It's blue. I'm going to own the blue. You think the blue is nice? That's good. Now, look at these bits under here. Um, first of all, those bits sticking out I thought gave it structure. They actually look kind of weird to me. So I'm going to remove those. Uh, does that need to be? Yeah, that needs to be that. So that can stay. That will go. Do I want that stay? Actually, no. I, I could put an, another fence post there and that'll look better. Uh, so that needs to go. 
and that needs to go. God damn it. So that is a little bit of it there. Johnny, continuing to come out with the uh, terrible approach to humour. I'm not here for it. Right then. Uh, those through there. Mm. Mm. I could... What I could do instead, if I'm doing carpets all the way along, I could tear all the blocks out on that row under those carpets and just put torches uh, against these blocks all the way along. It'd be a bit excessive, but it would, it would fit, and that would hold up the carpets as well. If I had frog lights, frog lights would be brilliant here. Frog lights would be brilliant, but frog lights I don't have. I don't even have frogs, let alone frog lights. So, uh, that'd be great with there. not what I have. Do I have end rods? Did I bring home some end rods? Because a whole strip of end rods across there would actually work. So naturally, I'm not going to have anything remotely resembling an end rod anywhere, am I? I'm not using up these to make end rods. Balls. All right. Yeah, that's a no bueno then. Okay. Fanciful idea for someone with more uh, infrastructure than I have. Uh, let's try with the torches all the way across then. Let's, uh... Carve that all out. Ow. Grab all these bits and pieces here, thank you very much. Close that up. Let's go a block on the end, because otherwise it'll look weird from the outside. Torches all the way down here, block on the end, and then carpets to match the colours that we're working with, including on those end blocks, I think. Did I do this one as well? I did, good, good. Uh, let's swap into the grey and the blue. So that looks good along there, it's basically the same as it was before, but now down in here, that does look better. Um, actually, do, do I want the caps? Top corner barrel? Wait, do I? I don't know what top corner you were talking about. Literally none of this is end rods. No. Don't know what top corner you're on about. You have cookies? I'm not jealous, but I'm thankful that you have cookies. You can enjoy them. Look at the torch there. You know what, that doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. And then we go torch here and job's good. Yeah, I, th I think that works out. That That is a bizarre, awning shape that I can be happy with. Yeah, I, th I, think, I think that works out in the end. Let's do that. So, quick little noms. Uh, now I want to get the wood going. Uh, I've already got some sticks on me, so let's make some fence posts. Don't know how many I mean, need, so I'm just going to craft as many as I can. Let's birch. I said 
much. Frick. All right, okay. So I need to get some birch fence posts, and the ones I just made are gonna sit in a chest somewhere until I forget that they exist and use them for fuel on something. Great, uh, let's swap to that birch fence right there, thank you. Uh, do I have wood lying around? Would you believe it? I don't know that I do. Any birch? Pretty please? Ah, 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 ah. Yes, good. Also more oak fences. Do you think I might have done this a time or two before now? Hmm. Let's just store crap in here. There we go. What's wrong with birch? It was just not the word I had in my hand. It's not what I crafted. One of those, I am not an expert at this game moments and so did not correctly identify the word I needed offhand. It's fine, it happens. I did also use up the sticks. Uh, do I have spare sticks so I don't have to take up woods right now? Of course I don't. That would be too simple. Let me just craft you with sticks. Alright, so. Maybe that'll be enough, maybe not. We'll find out. I can always make more. I can't unmake them. So, there we go. And uh, do it from the stairs, might be easier. There we go. Why do I hear it? Hmm, moron. Oh, I'll take the ink sack. Ethically harvested ink sack. It killed itself. Died of old age. That's, that's my story, that's what I'm going with. You died of old age, you can't prove otherwise. Mmm, Koki, this is going to use a few fence pieces, isn't it? Yeah, if it's four per time just on one of those, I'm going to need more. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That is all the sticks, let's grab some more sticks then. And we can continue. Alright, I'll go a bit further. And then over here. And over here. Oh, by torch. Wait, it's not one, but... Okay, there we are. Now that is all in place. It does feel... a little bit disjointed. Not gonna lie, these poles look very thin for what they're doing. Can I... How does that look? Could I do that between a couple segments here or there? Let's see, I put that... Uh, is it that height? I what to do that with. I think that could work, give it a little bit of extra structure. Do that there. Do it down this end as well. And then if I do it across these as well here. Yup. And then of course I'm gonna need exactly one more than I have. Actually, oh wait, yeah. Ah, uh, that's why I need to go down one. Is there a birch fence I can build for somewhere without it looking stupid? No? Okay. Alright, uh, we'll just make three more and use one. It's fine. There we are. That's fine. That gives it a bit more structure. I, I think that was necessary. Makes it look a little bit more solid and contained, and that's what we need. That is what you need. So now, now that actually looks like a proper structure in there. Uh, I have still got these helper blocks holding their carts in place. I uh, don't really need to keep those, do I? Let's pop these out, because they're looking a bit weird in there. I will need some helper blocks in here to stop these guys sliding around. Because as you can see, they can get problematic. 
itself. I'll figure out what helper blocks I want to put in place here. Let's grab this out as well. That does not need to be there. Um, still not sure about the spike. Something happened here. God knows what. Uh, so, what do I want to put between these guys? Keep it looking nice and set up. Uh, can I get some inspiration? What should go between them? What should go between them? I could... Slabs? Slabs could work. I was thinking, what if I put a trap door where it was upright on the front of the block? So they're kind of like little panels. That could look good. Strap doors matching in them with the wooden theme we got going on. If I uh, just grab this for example. Oh, wrong side. I knew that was going to happen. Yo! El Wolver, thank you very much for subscribing. Right there at tier one. Up to four months now. El Wolver, thank you very much on that. I do appreciate that. Welcome in once again. Right, can I scoot around you without pushing you? No. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. Ha ha ha. Wait. Da. Okay, right. Uh, I'll, I'll just place the block, it's fine. So if I go this here and flip like that, how does that look from the inside? Honestly, yeah, I, th I think that does it. Just a nice little bit of panelling right there. And in fact, if I... Hey, that looks good, doesn't it? Tell me that doesn't look good. That looks like that fits right there. Nice bit of panelling. How does it look on the outside? Weird as hell. Not going to lie to you. It does look weird as hell from the outside. So we don't pay too much attention to it. On the outside, there's fences in the way. It blocks your vision of it. You don't really pay much attention. It will be fine. It'll be fine. But it does look like a storage container for them, doesn't it? Yeah. That does look nice. Now, I don't know how it's going to look all the way across, especially when we have, uh, like, over here. Could look a bit weird. But only one way to know for certain is to try it out. So... Uh, I don't have a lot of this, and considering I'm using two trapdoors per section, it's going to only do another six sections. So first I need to be on the other side to place the ones here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we come in. And we go. One two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that addition right there, that addition right there I think has done absolute wonders for it. That does look like some nice proper cabinets, it's giving them separation. It feels like drawers you can pull out or uh, fanciful looking chest. They're chest plus one. Masterwork chest. That's what these look like. It's an improvement. I like it. It's adding to the vibe. Now, to do that all the way through, I'm going to need another one, two, there. And I'm going to want to have ones there, there, and there. So, that's going to be a little bit more birch wood. Let's go ahead and go and grab some. Those are carrots, not rockets. Let's just do a quick little bit of choppies. Has this got efficiency on it? It has. Efficiency too. Okay. That's fine. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. There we go. And let's do some bits over here. Wonderful. Hey, we got some plants over here as well. I'll forget that again in a moment. Okay, uh, that's giving me 30. That should be enough for everything I'm doing here. No. 
Almost nailed it. <laughs> Almost. <gasps> okay. Uh, I am just slowly gathering crap in my inventory again. God damn it. Uh, if only I had some masterwork chests to put the stuff into. If I go... Let me see. I'll give 24. Which will craft into four of these. I'm going to need more than that, aren't I? It's, that'll do two. I need another... Three. I need mean, number 18, two, four, five. Oh. And two left over. I have nothing I need to turn that into right now. I'm just going to chuck out that. Don't need a bit of random carpet in my way. Okay. It's getting dark again already. Bloody hell, that's... The daylight cycle in this game feels so quick at times. Like, every moment I'm just interrupted by it. There we are. The absolute genius of putting fences around the outside of this so I can access the back. Totally unintended. Works all the same. Yeah, the day-night cycle is in total 20 minutes, which means that you only get like 10 minutes of daytime. Just 10 minutes of it. Anyway. So now we can put in the finishing touches here. You. Oop. You. 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 I appear to have too many. How did I... How did I mess this up? Whatever. I've got more for use later. I'm, I'm gonna... Remove these construction rails right now. I'll pick those up in a sec. And, uh... You just... Do that. Come on. Hoi! Come on. Hoi! There we are. There we are, and we are ready for more to move in as and when it is time. Isn't that wonderful? I think that's wonderful. I do think that is wonderful. Right, I'm going to drop the rails into here, just somewhere to shove them, quite frankly. Um, I do notice that I've got torches laying around here and carpets. I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest, yep, it's empty under here. I could use the same trick I used a moment ago. Did that carpet go? Right here, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I can use the same trick uh, from a moment ago. Instead of put the torch underneath, like so, and then carpet on top. Hide the lighting away. So if I do the same here, There we go, grab you, put you on there, and then the same on this one, there we are, obscured lighting, it's lighting of the area, but now it's not visibly in the area. I'm going to keep that all because it makes sure our bridge stays fully lit. Again, block light level checks. Looking good. Yep, that's going to be perfectly fine all across. There we are. I think that looks good. You can fall through the carpet. Are you sure about that, Johnny? Are you sure about that? Doesn't feel like it to me. And I can show you, that one definitely had a gap. You are mistaken. There we are. That Oh I see, your lack of question mark made it harder to read quickly. That's fine. We're all good. 
that is that area done. So, now, the bit I've been putting off is actually doing something with this room. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go down the route of basic ass sorting system and otherwise just general storage throughout. That should work. That should work. So, let's do exactly that then. Uh... I'm going to need a whole bunch of wood and, oh look, a forest. Let's go get a whole bunch of wood. Let's clear up my inventory first. Ow. Um, I'm going to put all this gunk. Just random eye of ender on me, and bells, and runs redstone. You can go straight into a redstone chest. There we go. Um, well, wood is what I'm looking for, so I'll keep that on me, but that can go in, that can go in, I, just, yeah, stuff in there, go, sit, to be recovered and considered at another point. End rods, compass, bucket of water, quite frankly, I don't need to be holding on to, bow is nice, bows are always nice to have. I don't know why I need the rest of this, but I'm just going to have it around, I'll be fine. Yeah. A lead? Yeah, I got some leads. Alright, let's do the cutting up and around here. Kind of a little bit out of the sight of the uh the main area. Now at some point I'm also gonna find a nice ocean area and get myself a mob farm going so I can get plenty of gunpowder for these rockets. Cause uh well, you know. They aren't free. I do need gunpowder. Oh, hello. That was just hidden there. Okay. As you do. Yeah, I do need gunpowder for these rockets, so they're not free. They're not endless. I do need to set up a farm for that. Uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, storage system for now, because that is kind of a priority. You've seen the mess I'm living in. I need storage. Just straight up, I need storage. It needs to be a lot better than it is. And then my quaint house can be a lot more quaint. I have interior decorating. Which, yeah, that's, that's grand. There we are. Oh, I'm stuck. Alright, Ladybug, thank you for dropping by, and I hope you have yourself a wonderful meal. Enjoy your mac and cheese. There we are. Just a few trees. Trees means wood. Wood means lots of stuff, quite frankly. Don't need to explain that to you. Don't die? I have no intention of doing so. Neither does Ladybug. Is that... Oh, nothing else up there. Cool. Ah, Johnny's just learned about time zones. Uh, I don't actually know how much wood I'm going to need. Let me think. One log is half a chest. I'm going to need two logs per chest. So a stack of logs will give me 32 chests. Uh, look at the footprint of the space I have there. I probably want to have 16, 32 by 3. Minimum like 96 double chests. Uh, so 96 double chests is 192 chests, which is three stacks of chests. So I'm going to need six stacks of logs just for that. Then I'm not going to need the hoppers. It's... If I get 10 stacks of logs, 10 stacks will do. 10 stacks should about cover everything. I'm going to cut down so many trees here. Yeah, the whole keep it away from the, the house thing. It's not happening, isn't it? I'm, I'm just cutting down the whole bloody forest. Did a whole load of math? Well, I mean, yeah. I'm me. Of course I am. Turns out that's kind of my thing, dude. There we go. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, that's dirt. We don't want that. Yeah.
This is one of those really awkward trees, isn't it? Yep, okay, up we go. This is a really awkward one. Really awkward. Bloody hell. Alright. Uh, don't have the shears on me. Damn it. Okay, the tree is beginning to disintegrate, so that's good. That means we are cutting out major parts of it. Yep, there we are. That should be that one cut. Oh, I accidentally picked up Bioni. I think that was Bioni, innit? Yep, Bioni. I mean, if they will get in the way, they're going to get harvested too. And then I'll make some nice, lovely pink stuff at some point. God knows where or what, but I will. Yeah, fair enough, Johnny. Not everyone has an affinity for mathematics, that's fine. Uh, in fact, my entire career as a content creator comes around from the fact that other people would like someone else to do the math for them. And so I do. Sometimes it gives people numbers they're happy about, sometimes it doesn't. That's not my problem. I just do the numbers. At the end of the day, we get a nice, lovely answer to whatever the question was. The question now is, why is it so dark? Let's fly. Uh, let's see, how many logs have I got in that little excursion there? About three stacks. Okay. So just need that three more times over. Let's go a little bit further away. Oh, hello. A uh, biome change over here as well. That's nice. Hey, more wild animals up over here. Oh, it's a wolf. Angie at the sheep, no doubt. All right, well, sheep, your days are numbered. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, you, I'm specifically talking to you. That guy over there, he wants to eat your flesh. It's not going to be a long life for you, Mr. Sheepigans. Aren't all our days numbered? I think mine are lettered. There it is. You hate to see it. But it's life, isn't it? Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Except the uh, 22 people watching. I'm going to say most people's days are numbered. Yeah, but what about animals? Animals don't have calendars, so, you know. Not always true. Don't have to be so anthrocentric of it all. Alright, uh, any more logs in there? It's beginning to disintegrate. It's probably not. Gucci. Block by block, we get this together. Now, sure, I could invest in setting up an automatic tree farm and whatnot, but honestly, I'm nowhere near the stage for that to be remotely worth the time investment. Right now, it's worth just chopping. Fair enough, Johnny, I'll give you that one. You are very right. We are part of the animal kingdom. We are animals. You knew what I was referring to, but you decided to reinterpret it. That's fine. I mean, if you were full of parties, you wouldn't be here on a Friday, so, makes sense. Let's work our way through this. Hello, pig. Where are we at? 
Let's see. About five stacks. If I... I don't need these right here, except for that for chopping purposes. And if I go like so... Once I fill up all of these, I probably will have enough wood. So that's going to be my quick and easy reference for the counting. Uh, yes, you say, of course, we're on Friday. Do you think our friends hang out with something? I mean, you could do, but... I spent my Friday streaming various games to random people around the internet, so, you know, I mean, what's that say about me? <laughs> Turns out we're all in a similar boat of just enjoying games together. Totally no parasocial vibes. Now, I may look like I am uh, chopping down these trees in a haphazard manner, and you know what? You would be correct. I'm just letting the mind take me. Means I'm making money? I suppose if uh, people are subscribing, gifting, tipping, using bits, any of that lot, yep. Yeah. That that would constitute making money, yeah. You're not wrong. Exclamation mark tip if you want to join in on that. And just keep on cutting our way through all of these. Lovely jubbly. All these chests are better be worth it once I've got this all sorted. This is gonna be a lot of constructing. But hey, I mean that's that's Minecraft, right? You you mine and you craft and then you construct. It's the uh, hidden third word in the title. It's a sneaky bit of pull on you. branching tree we got again here. It looks like that's getting close to all of it. See any more in there? It's disintegrating over there as well. Yeah, should be good on that. I mean, they say in the subtitle from time to time, get the wood, so eh, maybe the title doesn't have everything. It's just two of the words. Partial instructions. The rest you can uh, discover as you go. I'll drop this tree. I'm thinning out the forest, not completely tearing it to pieces. Crazy little the pathways, little clearings, without removing the entire forestry. We can claim that it's sustainable or something like that. stubby ones, only four blocks high. I always have those leaves down at head height. Just get slightly in the way. You thought this game was about crafting mines? Well, good news! I have also crafted a mine. See, you thought you were being Kappa, but actually I've been big brain. I'm well ahead of you on that one. I've got a mine and I've crafted it. Grab all these peripheral pieces, this little bit of tree debris. Goes a long way. Oops, it's already planned later. So that's kind of important. through here as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to block up for those on I yeah. Alright. Get that one there. That should start the tree felling process. 
Yeah, I'm seeing bits of beer and that's good. Oh, I, okay. That I was not ready for. Thank you. Get rid of you. I'm sure, there's more than the one. Ah, I see you down there. Cool. That should be good for now. The others will probably uh, navigate to me eventually. I'll burn that bridge when I come to it. There we are. That's not what I tried chopping, is it? No, it doesn't look good. Okay. Cool. I'm going to leave that ready to one there, to be honest with you. Hassle. Scoop again the ancillary bits and bobs. It was nice to have some extra apples and whatnot. Those can definitely go away. With mods as well. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, it can be. I'm not running with mods at the moment, though. This is entirely vanilla. I just. I'll be honest, until I've played a game thoroughly and through, I usually stick to just vanilla, so experience it just as it is very often. Oh, wow, that wolf has been on rampage. I know that mods can make various changes, but it's. I find easy to get carried away with the mods. Uh, to the point that it removes various intended parts of the game system. And if it's just incendiary stuff, I don't really have that much of a focus on it. Because even that can again fly in the face of intended features. Now if it's things like just easier to navigate menus for Bethesda's absolutely abhorrent attempt at them, yeah that's fine, that's completely valid. As much as it messes up with achievements, it's still completely valid. I should probably go back and rest. But, uh, say for example, just even changing your crafting grid when you're out and about into a 3x3 rather than a 2x2. It's part of the intended mechanics that you need a crafting table for that, so I, even tiny bits like that change up the nature of the game. I would like to see changes to enchanting, because I think RNG mechanics have very limited purpose in a game, and when it comes to stuff like enchanting, the RNG is detrimental, it just takes away from the interest. So yeah, right then, that is a lot of plank action, so... Or rather, log action, it's not into bikes. Uh, and then it's chest. And this again is where that auto crafting would be brilliant. But we ain't there yet. And let's do another stack of it like that. Keep the rest of them out. There we are. Three, four, four stacks of chests. That should certainly get a lot of work done here. So now I need to remember how we actually make the uh, item sorters. That's the bit I don't remember. Uh, I think I need a hopper. Yeah, hopper with comparator, and then enough redstone to bounce it forward and backwards. How does that all look? I'm trying to do that from memory. Let's see. Let's go grab the basic materials I'm going to need and see if I can piece this together. Uh, let's not trample the farm. 
that would be bad. Uh, redstone, I have some comparators, I have some hoppers, I have some redstone. That'll be sufficient for some basic construction testing. So if I have, say, chest there, I think if it was hopper in and uh, hoppers pointing away from this one, so it's intending to push it that way, and I'll put a chest here as well for it to push into. Do you want to switch to in-game music? Sure. Uh, music. We'll do that. That should be fine. Well, am I making a storage system with sorting? So... The way I want this to work is that... Let me think. So I need a comparator out. Do I, oh, do I need a second hopper below this one and take the comparator from that and then feed the signal back through? Is that how this works? No. Oh, I need, ah, yeah, I need redstone torches as well. I remember now, yeah, it's because we need the hopper to ordinarily be locked, but unlocked when it's got enough items in it. Right, so it does need the extra hopper as well. So, uh, grab you, turn that, oh, you, turn that into another hopper, and then we can grab a redstone torch or two as well. Right, right, right. Hey Johnny, it's called thinking. You might want to try it. Like, think about how many bad jokes you want to make in one stream before I time you out for being bored of you. It's a very real possibility. Okay, so. Uh, if we go with... That's the end chest for stuff is not needed to go into here. I just get you banned. Yeah, so there is literally a rule on this Twitch stream. It's there when you check the rules. Uh, no bad jokes, please, because if people just constantly try to make it where it's all about them, look at me. I can come out with a million stupid quips in the chat. Aren't I great? 12 year old has learned how to talk. It gets tiring. It really does. At no point have I angled towards streaming towards 12 year old humor. So, uh,. When people come out with baby's first joke book, I get very tired of it very quickly. Very quickly. Alright, so that should be feeding through. And then what we we'll want to do is have ourselves some helper blocks. Do that. Wait, no, no. Hmm, yeah, no, yes. How would it... Oops. No, it can't be like that. Um... Yeah, Penguin. The, the redeem was supposed to be a limit on the amount of terrible jokes people made. Instead, what it did is it made it where people uh, wanted specifically to press the button. 
It's kind of like how historically over in, I think it was in India, the British uh, put a bounty on snakes. They were saying, hey, we want the snakes gone, so if you bring us a dead snake, we will pay you. And so what people did was, they went, oh, well, I'll breed some snakes and sell them to you dead. And so that made it where the British weren't getting rid of the snakes. They were effectively just paying people to breed snakes. They went, okay, well, this is just not working, so we're stopping that. And all these people who bred up these snakes were like, oh, well, you're not going to pay me for them. Fine, I'll just release them. And now there are even more snakes than before. The whole redeem for a bad joke kind of did that same thing of just encouraging more snakes to be produced rather than getting rid of the snakes that were there in the first place. So yeah, it was a bad idea. But then I learned. Uh... LDSG is saying, is there any game you play where you don't have a comprehensive technical knowledge of the game's mechanics? Well, I don't have comprehensive this, because I can't even remember how to put together a single bloody sorting system. I know that I need a comparator output at some point in this somewhere. Oh, I had it upside down. That's what it was, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, no. Maybe? Oh god, why why can I not remember this one? So I, I know that I need a comparator output. Uh I just I first of all can't even remember which one. No, it, it it's gotta be comparing this one, so <laughs> that's wrong. But if I'm comparing this one, where am I locking then? Because I want this one to keep pushing. I want this one to grab items only when it is able to do so, and then push them through. But... Hang on. I might actually have built this too low. Because uh, what if it goes here, here, and then underneath? Here. Into... Block? No, no, it needs to be into Redstone Torch. There's got to be a lock on it somewhere. Does it go out one block further? So it'd be... Like so, like so, like so. That into block, into torch. Which... Is going there. Because these are locked. No, I need them. I need them not locked. No, that's that's wrong. Yeah, that is wrong. I need I need them to lock when they've got enough items. So that is wrong. So how do? Ah, oh, come on! I don't want to look this up, but let me sleep before a mob wanders into my home area. I've got the immediate area lit up, but further areas are not, so we could easily get some undesirable things popping around. What I know is that we would have some amount of items in the hopper, items that aren't supposed to go out, the hopper is locked until it receives enough items. But the problem is, is that I can't lock this one because it's not going to pull the items. Oh, right.
No. No. Oh, come on, brain. Try and remember this. So, work through the mechanics from the top. The top row of hoppers need to push items along. They never get powered. They're always pushing items. Hoppers underneath them have priority. Pulling takes priority over pushing. And the pull should be on. Okay. But I only want it to pull when it matches. When it gains enough items, it'll then lock... So as not to pull. And so to lock it, I need to have a redstone signal going into it. But I only want it going into that one. I don't want it locking other things. Because then I want the other hopper below it to be taking the items out. And that's what enables us to go through the whole process. Do I put a block in it? Oh dear, that's good. Wait, did it? Oh, it picks up quietly. Is it that I have a thing in there if I uh, just get rid of this for a moment? Yeah, so it does take the signal from there. That's good. Okay. So if it takes the signal there... How do I run this back to it? Do I... Mm, why can I not remember how to do this? I mean, it's been two months since I was last on this world, and this world didn't even have a sorter on it, so of course it's been months since I built one of these, but bloody hell. Oh. Come on, redstone brain, kick in, help me out here. What's What, what am I missing? Because I know we use a signal strength from it. That signal strength, when it goes up, by an amount, we then send a signal through which will lock this hopper and no other hoppers. Would it be... No, because that, that'll lock it right now. I want that to not be locked. Just, uh... Yeah, that's turning all of this on, isn't it? Oh, that's no good. No, that's that's definitely not it. Flip it. Yeah, it's just... I don't remember needing to double invert... Unless, do I go one here? Oops, I've accidentally burnt out my torch. <laughs> That's not it. It doesn't go here. Unless Sykes send this out another one. And then... No, because that's not going to light anything up like that. No. No, 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 that's not it. Are you going to feeling repeaters needed? They might be. Do I have a storage nearby? I can look at this first one in this world. I don't want to just look it up. I'm trying to figure it out. But I don't think I'm going to succeed at that. I'm I'm just kind of throwing redstone together rather than figure out the logic of it. That's what I'm trying to do is get the logic of it. Figure out the engineering, then build it. 
So what I want is that when this has a signal output of enough, and I think that's going to be three, that's what I remember is a signal output of three. When at signal output three, this hopper locks. How do I make that happen? If I block, block, signal one, signal two, signal three, how does this lead to that happening? The question. Let's clear some more floor space. Because that burns it out, because that's lighting up, so that's not how it works. Um, it might be repeated, like someone mentioned. Let me uh, drop off this crap. Levers are definitely not part of it. Levers are a solid on signal. It's not going to be levers. Let's bring in that one repeater I have. This is why I'm so bad at FPS. Is like my aim is terrible, even shutting a door. So if I bring in this repeater here. That would soft power this block, which would... What? Because even if I put that there, it's... is that going to just do what I need it to? Doesn't seem right. Okay, well, I've just emptied that chest. No. No, 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 I need that. I need this locked until it has enough, right? No. Yeah, I need it locked until it has enough. That's what it is. I need it locked until it has enough. Then it unlocks. No, no I don't. I need this one locked. Until there's enough. That's the one that needs to be locked. Oh, not like that. That's a clock. So this, now if I put... Alright, so I don't, I, I don't want them feeding into it, do I? Yeah, no, 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 no. So if that has just an item in it, well this one is locked, so that's not feeding through. I could have some amount of filter items, so I can have... Oh, that's too much. That was too quick. Uh, not the sword. Got it. Sword is too heavy uh, for the setup. I need... The eggs would probably do it. Uh, let's put chests in. If I go like that... So that is powered most of the way. Yeah, if I put in like a few, doesn't activate. A few more. There we are. So it goes down to 13. Okay, so if I fill these in with another 12, that'll be three in each. Then it's going to activate the filter all the way through and it'll stop on the one item, which is the filter item. One gets stopped there, that's fine, and the rest come through to here. So if I have this, this, this in here. It should put all the wood down here. And the other side's there. What? Why? What? Why did. Why did no. What? Huh? Why? Why? How? how, did, how why did logs end up there? Bolts. Okay. No, that's wrong. Uh, hmm. Hello, Foxy. I'm definitely missing something here. Let me go to bed, sleep it off, come back. Still missing a detail. Hopper down, it seems to be a hop across. Let's see. 
I'm an idiot. It's because the override isn't because it's it's not an override. Or rather it's it's a priority system. Pull happens first, then push in a tick. But when I'm feeding it 20 items, it can do both pull and push because it's got more than one item. That's that's what I'm missing. So if I put an input chest above this, that'll have it pull one, and then that one will be pulled before it gets pushed. That's what I'm missing there. That That's what I was missing. So if I go that, 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 we'll see all the wood come in here and all the uh, and as I go there. There we are, it's gone through the wood and that brings out the four. And a granite, not andesite. And then it continues putting the wood into here until we get all of it that I just put in the top. And there it is. Everything's out of that one. We got the filter in there, we got the one item in here, it's that little bit of overflow that's necessary. And then there's this stuff there. That's a sorter. That is a sorter. And I can actually... Can I shrink this down by one block? Can I put repeat it directly into there and reduce the filter size? Possibly. I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try it. If I go chop that out. That's drawing items down. And it should go through to half of them and leave half there. Yeah, because now it's dropped down that one bit of signal. Excellent. Yep, yep, yep. So, I can... Spread those out. If I put in one more, you see it'll take one more. So that is at its limit, is having those items in there like that. Then you just have a comparator right against a hopper. How would this fit then? If I have the comparator here, everything else would need to move over one. Alternatively, I have the redstone out and extra dust still, don't I? Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's what it'll be. Yeah, I just take the. Yeah, I just do it like that. And that again means that I need to fill up this with the rest of the uh... items. So five and five. Six and six, and then filter item. So if my filter was uh, again logs, that's one filtering. So in here we go, not chest because it's currently coded to chest as the alternative. We go bup 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 bup, and then some logs and bup. Interrupt it. All the non-log stuff is here, and the logs are there. Boom. Yeah, and I think having 11 of items there, it's just, just nicer to look at. It is just nicer to look at 11s, rather than 5, 6, 5, 6, or some combo like that. Having the extra dust, 11s. I like it. So the way this is working is this is counting the fraction of how filled the hopper is. The hopper could take up to 64 of each of these chests. So at this moment where it is stable, it's one item off stable, it's got uh, 45 items out of a possible, uh, what's it, five lots of 64, so that's uh, 320. At the 46th item, it then starts flowing through again. And that's why, for example, I'm not able to use uh, my sword in here, 
because my sword would counter 64 items. It's an entirely filled slot. It's a non-stackable item. So that's why I can't put some like swords in here. Uh, what I could put here instead for that to reach that 45 is I could put, say, an egg in each of these, a named egg, of which I have plenty. An egg, they stack to 16. So I would need uh, fewer eggs here, but then I'd also need to have more filter items to account for the fact that the egg wouldn't go to 11. I would need to be using more filters. Which is fine, if you're filtering an item through a sorting system like this, you should have a few items to put there, so it's not the end of the world to do it that way. This uses the lowest number of filter items, you get one there, one there, rest goes into chest. It's just this is a little bit less efficient about the items put in there, but eh, it's neither here nor there, to be honest. And then likewise, I could just go and put uh, 40 more logs here and take out all but one of each of these filter chests or filter items, whatever I end up putting there. Uh, but again, that means having 40 items, sorry, uh, 42 items used for the filter. Which again, I can manage, it's just do I want to do that? I could, probably should. All right, cool. At least I've remembered how to build it. It took some thinking. It really did take some thinking to get there, but I have remembered how to build it. It's taller than I remember, I'll be quite honest with you. Uh, that bit will be all the way down the end, not to worry about that. But yeah, so I would need this to go two blocks up. That will give me my main chest for sorted items around that row, and then I can have thematic items on the two rows of chests below them. And in terms of the footprint... No, the footprint can come down. Yeah. Can it? No, it can't. Can it? Should we see if we move along uh, the torch by one slot just to filter? I don't understand what you're asking there, Penguin. I mean, I could put the torch here. system is designed to lock up that set, but if I'm not using hoppers further down, I could put the torch there, couldn't I? Rather than here. Yeah, that's a thought. What happens if I do that? Uh, so this is currently locking now. Let's, let's get rid of this. Just so it doesn't pull things out of here for now. So if we go... That. Shove you in there now. That to there. Block. You. Torch. This out, this out. That goes there. Redstone line. Turns off that torch. That's understandable. It's intended actually. That should be filtering through. We'll see it switch on in a moment to then lock it up again. And when I look in here, now I'm going to have half the chest there. Yes, I do. There it is. So I could instead take those out, just have one filter item, and then whatever's being filtered, it goes there. And it stops at 18. Yeah, okay, That that's the most efficient setup. That's the footprint. I remember why I had it set back was because of having additional hoppers down in a straight line. You can get around that by instead having hoppers uh, underneath this chest down. And then filter out that way, or follow through that way, or underneath yeah, here and down. And that should still work. But like, this works as well. This is compact, this fits everything. Uh, so the footprint on that, I need one, two, three, four, and then the chest five, six. So we one, two, three, four, five, six. It would come right out to here. Which also means then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I could have it out to here. Bring it around, out to here. Oh, that's just, that's really using up a lot of space, isn't it? So I'll be able to have 
Let's see if it's going well. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Out to there. Then it comes around out to here. So with no direct access to the back, I'd have to crawl through crawl spaces. I would be able to set up a filter for a max of... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yeah, so that would be seven, four times over, 28 slots. That would be 28 slots. Phew. All right. Not as many slots as I was hoping, I'll be quite honest, but I have given myself a very compact room for such a contraption. You just remembered how much iron these can eat up? Yeah, some good news. I have an iron farm. It's well disguised in this whole, you know, lovely villager area and farms. It looks all so nice and tranquil out here. And then we realize, oh yes, I'm continuously murdering iron golems. Here is one now. So, as much as I've not got endless iron, I have got enough iron to make these things begin to happen. I have the one farm you can get to work properly. Yeah, fair do. This is a variant of the design by Impulse SV. Oh, you couldn't get his work. Fair enough. So this is a variant of the design by Impulse SV. I recommend checking out his video. Uh, let's, let's fly up there and show you what's going on, though. He gets the credit for the main design because this is actually a two-in-one farm. So most of Impulse's design here is basically what you see uh, with slightly uglier blocks. I've, I've, I'm not a designer, so it looks a bit naffer, but whatever. So we've got the villagers here. We've got beds on either side as well. We've got the zombie here. Now, my design change versus impulse is that I've got these trapdoors set up and the zombie is in water on a soul sand block, which is causing him to continuously bounce. And as he continuously bounces, he continuously hides his face behind the trapdoor, which blocks line of sight. So these villagers are constantly losing sight of the zombie and then constantly being made aware of it again. Whereas if he was just sat there, it will be a steady line of sight. So that's the only change I needed to make. Otherwise, what impulse has made happen? These villagers, there's three of them. They've got a job site block. They've got a zombie. They're scared. So that spawns an iron golem uh, basically off cooldown. On top of that then, because there are three villagers and a job side block, they are suitable for breeding. So we can feed them, drop food down from this platform I've created, they will breed, they will have a baby villager, and the baby villager will then try to run to one of the available two beds. Which is why we've got these here. The trap doors on the side make the baby villager think it can run across, but it can't. It drops down into the water. Now you might be thinking, hang on. But that's where the, the golems go to die. But the la oh, balls. <clears throat> the lava blade up there, it is set above the height of the baby villagers and blocked by signs. So the villagers drop down, go straight through the water and into a holding area. Whereas the golems, they get stuck in the lava blade, they get burned, their loot drops down into the water, comes down here, Loot goes there, baby villagers sit upon the hopper. Jobs are good one. And this minecart track here allows me to put a minecart there, it'll instantly set off, and because it crosses this spot here, it'll pick up an entity that is stood right there, namely a villager. And I have brought all of these villagers in here, in minecarts, into their locations. Now there is a way to optimize this farm slightly further, ever so slightly. And the way to do that would be to build this a lot higher. I think it's like 16 blocks higher. That way when the golem drops down and starts burning, it will already be outside of the range of the villagers because they go on cooldown to spawn a new golem once they no longer have a golem near to them. That's my understanding anyway. So if you drop them a bit further, they'll go on cooldown, uh, go off cooldown quicker. And so they'll spawn the next golem that little bit quicker. Uh, Gives you something like a, uh, I don't know, like a, probably about a 15% efficiency boost, which is notable for a farm like this. It's just, I don't want to make the extra space. Because at this point, that would mean either lifting this entire thing up, or more likely, dropping the kill chamber down a whole bunch. And that's, that's just, 
effort and aesthetic ruining and the, the levels are all being correct, so I'm not going to do that. This is working. It is a uh, iron farm. It took me a while on a previous world to figure out that I needed to make the zombie bounce because I copied Impulse's design directly. Impulse didn't notice the issue, I understand, because he's a content creator. He does for Minecraft what I do for Warframe and then more. Uh, and so he was constantly on the move around his world, logging in and logging out. Whenever you reload the area, you reload the villagers check on line of sight. And so they become scared of the zombie. But if you stay AFK in an area, they will become used to it until line of sight is broken. So that's why the bouncing is necessary. Without the bouncing, you can't AFK here. Or rather you can, the farm will turn off. And then that's no good. But that little bounce, absolutely crucial. Without it, if you haven't got nether access or just haven't gone there yet, uh, just make sure you log out and log in every now and then. Yeah, 15% is 15%. Like, you can't sneeze at that. It's just, that will be a lot of investment. Whereas, I'm producing the iron as is. Rather than spending time optimizing that, I have the iron. I can instead do other stuff. I can instead do other stuff. So, it's all good. So, with that in mind, I now need to translate this. I'm going to leave this here until I've created at least a few blades. Uh, so, this takes a comparator, a repeater, redstone torch, uh, three hoppers, and then at least double chest and two dust. That's quite a bit of resources, really. That's quite a bit of resources, and I don't know what I'm going to use for these helper blocks. These construction blocks. Um, I could go for the Mumbo Jumbo special of using wool, but I don't have an automatic wool farm yet, so kind of not really got enough of that resource to do that. I could use dirt, but honestly, dirt in a build just looks so bad. I have got copper, but that feels excessive. Like, I could use copper construction blocks, but... I mean, setting up a whole bunch of copper in the background of a storage system, that just seems wrong. I am not that flush with copper to do that. So I'll skip on that one. Uh, again, I could use ores, but that's again excessive. I'm definitely not using amethyst. Uh, netherrack, no, it's horrible. I do not like the look of netherrack. Uh, it's probably going to end up being some kind of stone or wood item, isn't it? Stone bricks. Stone bricks, not a bad shout, actually. I do have a bunch of smooth stone. Stone to stone bricks I could do. I'm um, keeping the deep slate penguin because it's uh, actually a really nice palette to work with. Yeah, I'm, I'm, stone bricks I think is a good shout. I can do that. I can do that. Right, let's uh, clean up the chest spam in here. Uh, bop, 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 bop. Let's use a stone cutter. Why not? There we go. Do I want to mix it up with a few chisels? No, no. For a contraption like this, sameness makes it look good. Four stacks for now, that'll get some building going. Uh, so I need a whole bunch of comparators, so for that I need you. And I'm... Oh, I need more stone, aren't I? Do I have cobblestone lying around? Do I, is a question. You know, I, I have enough stone, I should be fine. Stone cover is nice. It is, yes. Uh, let's just put that away. Quite frankly. Okay. Uh, stack of redstone. I need a. Turn that into a stack of torches. Let's do that again. Go turn you into a stack of torches. Actually, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. It's like all the uh, comparators I'm, I'm, for one stack of things, but I don't need one stack, I need half a stack. So I'm gonna need for one blade, it's 
A redstone torch, two for the repeater, three for the comparator. And we're making 28 blades. So that's 168 redstone torches. Which is 2.65 stacks, yeah. Yeah, two stacks and 40 of torches. So I need a whole bunch of sticks. Uh, that's actually more than enough sticks now, so that's good. Do I have the redstone? I have blocks. Blocks turn into redstone, that's good. There we go. And another those. I'm going to need more dust later, so let's grab that. Blocks can go away. Right then, let's turn a bunch of these into comparators. I need 28 of these. I have 22. What am I short on? I'm short on the stone. Oh, this setting my current storage. I mean, it's very, very cozy in here, isn't it? I'm going to be decozying and more uh, prettifying it as soon as I can. Because it looks a little bit haphazard right now, to be quite honest. Like, this can stay, but uh, there's just bundles of stuff stuck around the place. That that needs to go. It needs to be a bit, bit nicer, a bit cleaner. Alright, so I've got my comparators. Now I need to do the repeaters. And again, I want 28 of those. I need another 13, which is going to take another 39 stone. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch of hoppers. Because I need three per blade. I'm looking at 28 blades. That would be 84. But then I also need the roots around stuff. Uh, so I should go for two stacks of hoppers. Two stacks of hoppers is going to take up two stacks of chests. And then five stacks of iron. Let me just store these for a moment. I'll come back to that. Five stacks of iron for those hoppers. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> we take those. Five stacks of iron gives us a stack of hoppers. Wait, yeah, no. Five stacks of iron gives us a stack of hoppers. I need ten. Shit. I only have half as much iron as I need? I massively misunderestimated this. Okay. I can get a little bit more iron going. Uh, that's my fortune. Yep, let's... Uh... Do some good old mining and crafting. <laughs> Alright then, let's... Uh... Yep, you are set to receive. Let's just... Eh, yeah, close enough split. You go in that one. You go in this one, you need some fuel. I have fuel. Up. That's that's only a bit smidge more iron. I need, I need a lot more than that. A lot, lot more than I have. I, I I guess I probably should just go mining for a bit, to be honest with you. There's, there's no two roads about it. I need more iron, and the iron farm is not going to produce another five stacks in the next five minutes, is it? As much as this is going to power through, I, I need more. So, let's... Uh, let's store these bits in here for now. I don't need to hold on to right this second. Torches, uh, Silk Touch is pickaxe of the day. No. 
I think for iron, I want to be just a little bit above where Deep Slate spawns. Like, right about here should be iron territory. Theoretically. I think. What happens over here? What is this? Well, that's not ominous at all. <laughs> You've reached 85% of the big one? I am not sure what you're referring to, Ray. I have an inkling, but I'm not sure. Oh, that, that, no. No. I'm, I'm blocking off stuff, not encountering more stuff. Alright, this'll do. This'll do. God! Frick! No! Oh, stop being whiny about it. Not got full armor on. A little bit riskier. But I can snag iron when it spawns like that. Now, fun! God damn this game sometimes. God damn this game sometimes. Okay. There we go. Mining and cave is okay for iron. It is if you're in the right spots, and it looks like I am in the right spot. Look look at this, look at this. I get so jumpy. Oh, piss. I, I, I don't need the lapis. I'm not going to focus on lapis. Um, piss. No. I know I'm armoured, but I still get so bloody jumpy. So where there's normal mobs, there's going to be creepers, and this is hard, so they explode, and... Oh, hey, hello. I'll take that any day. <laughs> Those things are nice trophies. And uh, it's a dead end. Don't need the coal. What if you're not an Aros? Yeah, very much so. I am definitely no an Aros. More of an Excalibur. I have a sword and a dream. And the dream that I'll be a relevant Warframe, but really it's just a poster child. If Excalibur wasn't the poster child of Warframe, most people wouldn't even pay attention to him. Let's be real now. Most people would just ignore an Excalibur if he wasn't one of the starter frames and the poster child of Warframe. It's just not that good. Oh sure, you can do things, but he's just not that good. Two iron, thanks. One of the best visual designs out of the early Warframes? I mean, he's certainly got a unique design ish, kinda. It's just, he's very vanilla. Like, what's his special ability? Sword. And he's not even that good at it. He's marginally better than others at sword. Even his main sword doesn't do sword things. It fires projectiles and waves. What are you strafing? Stop that. How? Let me finger. He's supposed to be vanilla. Uh, vanilla. He's the easy frame for new players. That's the thing though, it's like, new players also have mag and vault as choices and it doesn't say, hey, this one is the easy one. Vault is still capable for bloody Eidolons, for sod's sake. It's better for it. Mag absolutely dominates as well, and then you've got Excalibur who just kind of excals all over the place. If he's not careful, someone's going to make a shitty film about him. Release it twice. Yeah, no, I, I don't take that as an answer for why Excalibur is so 
sad. I mean, even his sword, his uh, exalted blade, is just sad to look at. It's nothing like the trailer, not even close to as glowing and splendorous. It's just a sword with some swirls around it, and it just makes me sad to think about. Poor guy's been shafted in that regard. Yeah, it's just... Gold booties and enchanted bow. My god, you're a bit stacks, aren't you? And you drop just sweet FA. Love ya. Okay, fair enough. I was just looking for iron, didn't see in it. Oh, that's not the way up. That's the way up. Uh, I did manage to get a stack of iron. And a bit. 69. Nice. Well, let's get out of here. Oh, hang on. Ah, you thought you could hide from me? You nearly did. But not good enough. You guys probably can't see with the Twitch compression, but I managed to see it. Ah! What? Oh, for God's sake. Fuck off. Oh, you drop your bow. Thanks. Yeah, that's why I needed just a basic broken bow in my inventory. I'm plugging this up. Uh, actually, if I... If I do this right... Right here... Ow. I mean, that worked. You gotta admit, flying through a mine shaft is kind of cool. Nifty little trick that you can do there. Okay. Uh, I need to now turn this into loot. Pop this all out on here. Thanks to Fortune, I should get a couple stacks out of this. It's still not going to be enough iron, I think, for everything I need. But it's going to get me a damn long way towards it. While I build the stuff, I should get more iron from the iron farm as well. So it all comes together, really, kind of. Slightly. And then the rest of it... There we are. Cool. Alright, so, stack into there. Another half a stack in here. Half and the 22 into there. I'll feed through this one, I'll feed through that one. You probably have enough fuel for it, but I'm going to give you another one just to be certain. And whilst that happens, let's go fill these up. Oh, actually, let's sleep. And then I'll go fill these up. This is why I don't need to worry about coal. I have lava farms because I specifically chose the area for having access to lava and dripstone and a lovely space overall. Yeah. Can I just melt the other block? I could, but then I'd only get one iron, whereas if I break it down with fortune... Uh, actually, I don't know if you can smelt the ore directly these days, but uh, if I do it with fortune, then I get more out of it. Yeah. Not as daft as I look. As I open and shut it all using a lava bucket. <clears throat> Think not too hard about that. Alright, Emerald Ore can join the other one in there. I've got two of those now. Lovely little pieces. No deep slate coal yet, but that's understandable. It's fine, Grandpa. It's fine, you didn't know. Should have suspected, but you didn't know. Cool. So that is getting the iron going on that front, and it's joining the massive amount of copper. Imagine if I could use copper to make hoppers. That would be wonderful right now. But I can't. So, it is not wonderful right now. Shove those in there. Freaking crappy little bow, whatever. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I used up basically all my torches there, so I should probably get some more going. There we are. It's good just to have torches ready to go. Okay, so... I have the bundles of stuff to use. Let's get building.
as I bonk my head as I go. Uh, yeah, I think I have much of the material I am going to need here. So, remembering the layout, remembering the footprint, uh, I need the hoppers up two more. So hoppers will be at this level, which means that I'll have at the back, redstone is on hopper level. I'm going to help a block on it, and the helper blocks are going to be these. So helper block one below at the back. So helper blocks go here. And before I start placing all kinds of random stuff in, yeah, that's where I want them. Yeah, I'm not going to have a blade here, are I? That's that's out the exit way. That looks silly. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six is all we're going to get there. And let's just build this blade and then continue from there. So that is the helper block that goes there at the back. And two forward from that, we need another helper block on the same level. Very good. And then I'm going to want the helper blocks underneath, which is where all the comparisons, uh, sorry, repeaters are going to go. And then we can just pop in the repeaters, so let's, uh, okay, fine, I wanted it to do that. There we go. Uh, a redstone at the front, helper block on top of the helper block. Sure, sure. A redstone and helper block is you guys. So it's redstone at the back. There we are. And helper blocks go here. Right? Yep, and helper blocks on top of the uh, these bits. Redstone goes on here. And I think it said comparators go here. That's what we figured out. Yeah, that's looking correct so far. Now, redstone torches need to come on the end of these forward ones here. Like so. That's underneath hoppers, which will be pointing into chests. Let's just do it like this. So. Oh, wait, actually, I want these side on. Let's use this for construction blocks for now. Make sure I'm using my silk touch pickaxe when I break these. <clears throat> I totally meant to do that. And then hopperinos can go into all of these O's. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you very much. Self touch these out. Lovely jubbly. Let's use those as helper blocks. Not going to require as much focus. Okay. Uh, now we got. Above this, we need hoppers that point towards the comparators. That way they're not feeding into anything. And then we have hoppers which are going along the ways. Like so. so they are attempting to push along. Uh, that's I say, hey Ken, do you know Mojang added autocraft related snapshot? I did see that, yes. I'm not using snapshots, this is 1.20.2 that I'm in at the moment. But yes, I did see that. It's very exciting. Okay, so that should be the blades. We got redstone torch at the front there, with three hoppers above it. 
and double chest in front of the bottom hopper. We've got one, two, three, four helper blocks. One, two, three, four. And the base. We've got comparator, repeater, two redstones, comparator, repeater, two redstones. That is all correct. Yes, crazy. Auto crafter. So it's a crafting table, but it crafts when it receives a redstone signal. Or red when it starts to receive a redstone signal. We're not continuous. It's a pulse. Kind of like a dispenser. So when it receives a redstone pulse, it will craft whatever's in its crafting grid if it is a valid crafting recipe, otherwise it does nothing. Looks like craft will be a little slow. Nice for mass crafting the droppers or dispensers. Uh, not just things like that. Droppers, dispensers, but also for mass converting of farms. So like, uh, if I had a villager outputting wheat and I wanted bread, I could have it go straight into an auto crafter, turns it into bread. Job done. I could even have it uh, going into a system where I'm also having the harvesting of eggs happening and I've got a supply of milk buckets already put in place. Uh, sugar being automatically farmed, so we've got sugar cane, break that, auto craft into sugar, bring it into this system, you get it all filtered through, also making cakes, all of that is possible. With the uh, chickens, if you had a chicken farm producing feathers, you could have that hooked up to a supply of uh, sticks and flint, and it'll be auto crafting the feathers and whatnot into arrows, though with villagers that you'd kind of need to do that, but you could. But now we can get really crazy with it. Imagine if you have a cobblestone generator. Well, with a cobblestone generator, you can currently automatically feed cobblestone into a smelting array to have cobblestone, stone, and smooth stone. But with the introduction of the auto crafter, you can have a cobblestone generator of any size constantly generating cobblestone and then send it through all this array of stuff to automatically have all of your chests filled with all the different types of stone products. So you can have your stone chest and your stone brick and your uh, stone stairs, stone slabs of each type that is craftable. And you can do that with the woods too. If you have an automated tree farm, have all the wood pour into it, it goes through the system and you just deliver the wood out evenly to all the different crafters and have them craft these things for you. Auto boat spam prank? Yes, you could also do that. Now these contraptions are not going to be small, don't get me wrong. That kind of thing is going to be immense in scale. But with that immensity, you can get a lot of good stuff done. Oh yes indeed. You can get a whole lot of good stuff done with that. Okay, so that is that is a blade right there. That is a single blade constructed. And I can repeat this all the way around. So if I... Yeah, I could just make the next blade right here, and so that would be the floor blocks go across there, and we need construction here, and here, there we go, and then we can have a second layer on top of that, and um, before I fill in here, I'm going to put in the repeaters. And we can do the redstone. It goes all the way along here. Fill in these ones. Grab those into redstone. And then we'd have the comparators. Oops. Come on. There we are. It is night time. I should probably go sleep. So nothing stupid comes along. Are we solving practical problems in here? I've managed to uh, completely reconstruct how to do an item sorter without looking up a guide. Just had to think through the logic carefully bit by bit to reconstruct it. It took a while, granted, but that's what happens when you don't normally act as a redstone engineer. Yeah. This is how you learn to do things, is you don't just look up guides all the time. When you know that you have the means to figure it out, challenge yourself to actually figure it out because that creates the pathways of thought to solve those kinds of problems and more like them in future. That's how you get to where you're uh, 
have the ability to make these things more grand. Cheers, Arcane. Keep the mind alive, don't just mindlessly copy. Alright then, so, with all of that, now we can uh, run along the next bit of what I created, which is just this. It's all the same as what's already been made, like, this isn't a new invention, but it's the fact that I managed to make it myself. Figure it all out. That's the trick. Well, not really a trick, just the greatness of it. Okay, so... We need to do the chest first, yep. Uh, if I go along here, bup, bup. There we go, then chest. Like so, like so, like so, like so, like so. Here. Oh, there we are. These blocks can all come down now. Yeah, tech it, create mod. There are mods out there that can make it even more complicated, absolutely. At the same time, there are people who can handle create mod stuff, but then they look at redstone and they're like, yeah, but how do computational quasi-connectivity what? <laughs> exactly right. When you're solving practical problems, one of those problems to solve is keeping your mind awake and alive and thinking, and brewing. And you do that by doing stuff. Not just being, not just placing, but really properly doing. The great benefit to yourself to do that. That's what takes us from watching TV to actually creating something. Something you can be proud of. Yeah, Penguin. It, it's different ways of thinking, really, is where I see it. Uh, redstone is electrical engineering, whereas Create Mod is more, uh, more industrial. No, it's factory lines. For a factory line, thing goes from A to B. It's a very different kind of logic to Redstone, which was, okay, so I need that to be a one until that says this, and then I need to invert the signal to a zero in response to that, but I need it to zero out this and not that. That's electrical. Whereas supply chains of, okay, I need those items to end up in this location, and I need them to be in these quantities, that's industrial. Very, very different skill sets, I'd say. So we do one more like that, and then like this, and now I have the hopper chain across. I could use uh, composters on here to reduce lag, but it's a single player world, I don't need to worry about that. Not for this scale. And there are people building computers and video game consoles in Minecraft. Yeah, I've seen a working uh, Game Boy where you could play Pokemon Blue. In Minecraft, the whole game. You could punch buttons in front of you that activated the up, down, left, right, A, B, start, pause buttons properly. It did all the computational stuff. It even coded in the same bugs. They did it all in Minecraft. A mixture of uh, redstone and uh, command blocks. It's kind of wild. Kind of wild that people have the brain power to create those kinds of things. I am nowhere close to that level. It is genuinely impressive what people can do. Ah, look at that. Good. I can access all of these. Right, if I have this as my access up and around here, let's create a follow through access because I don't want to be able to. Yeah, I'm. I could skip a set of chests here and that would give me access. Yeah, that'll be safe. I could do that. Let's uh, create an access platform. If I do it like that. 
Yeah, that's my access platform. That's good. That's just a little bit of general engineering. No, this ain't the new node. I'm, I'm building up my dojo right now. This, this is the uh, one of the reactor rooms, you see? That's why it looks so industrial. I'm, I'm just using uh, the creator-only texture pack. That's why. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Anyway. Uh, that's giving me the blades. I don't have the item filters in as yet. I need to set up those item filters. But basically, that is a sorting system. And then we just have stuff here. Now, what I should do, if I'm really sensible about this, is create a proper overflow. So let's do that now. That should come out of there. Let's create a proper, proper overflow. Uh, if I go like so... I'll have the overflow just just here will be fine, wouldn't it? Yeah. I go skidoosh, skid. Oh, how do you, how do you? Yeah, that's how. And yeah, I'll fit one more. That in like that. Remove the helper block. All the way down. There we are. Now fill bottom to top with items as they happen. Uh, no, I agree. Can the sort of support overflow of items? So this is designed to have it where I put items in to the hopper chain and then it'll push them along. So the whole system is prevented from receiving an overflow in the first place. That's what I've got this setup, Luna. So I'm, I'm not using a water stream setup, which would require a proper overflow, like you were talking about there. This is simply designed to... Uh, what do you call it? Yeah, this is designed to take them all straight through a hop line. Which is just simpler, really. And then item overflow ends up down there. Which I think should be fine. I think that covers what I need it to cover. I might be wrong, but I think I'll be fine. So in terms of getting the items into there then, that's what I need to set up here now. And uh, I'll be honest, going up to place the items in seems a bit awkward. But I don't remember how to make a uh, noiseless uh, dropper elevator. Overflow would be for non stackables they can clog the system if any enter. No, no, that won't happen. Because it'll be one item at a time. If a item goes into here which is non stackable, then it'll go through the system because none of the filters will match without triggering anything. It'll end up here and then just go in. New one of my building. Uh, so, what I'm building here is a item sorter. Item sorted storage. So, item goes in there, some way, somehow, one at a time, fed through. If it matches any of the filters, it'll drop in. If it doesn't match, it'll get all the way over to here and just drop into there somewhere. Jobs are good. Uh, let's see, I need to reconstruct this floor now. See, it's been broken for too long. I think that is the wrong spot. Yes, it is. And I can tear out all of these bits now. The template has been tested, verified, put together, so it doesn't need to stay like so. There we go. And let's reconstruct the exterior. So we get brick, brick, brick there. And then I think it is just randomized near enough blocks around the outside. Yeah, there we go. Cool, and it feels like it's getting to dusk again. There we are, that's cleaned up in here. I used to have something in the middle here. What do I have two blocks of that that could have been? I don't. I'm going to put bricks. That looks fine.
So yeah, most aspects of that are already handled. Uh, I think a a silent dropper chain might be the best. It's just I need to remember how to do that. I know I could use a uh, water elevator, but I still need to get the items out. Uh, at that point, a water column here bubbling away. One, so close to right, so I don't need to section it off. And two, they make noise. I'm going to go for silence. I'm using a tutorial, I'm making it up. Technically both, Cosmo. Technically both. Because I've seen tutorials before now, and I've built uh, sorting systems before now, but this construction has been done entirely on stream without looking up any tutorial. And then we get to the problem of I've never, ever made a silent dropper elevator before. So now I may be in trouble. Uh, yeah. Job, that is not even an appropriate question here, so, uh, maybe stick to the contents of the stream, please. Is it original design or basic stuff? This, this is just standard item filters. Very, very standard stuff. You take a uh, signal out using a comparator. Uh, once enough items are in here, it'll lock this one, preventing it drawing items. I think... No, sorry, wrong way around. Uh, currently, this is locked, so it won't draw items. Once this fills up enough, this will unlock, allowing it to draw the items, which means you can set this slot to be whatever item you need and block out these slots with junk stuff, uh, renamed items. So then only the right items go into here. When they do, this unlocks, pulls them through until that one's down back again. It's very standard stuff. Hey, job, job. Final warning, I'll time you out. Stick to the contents of the stream, mate. This ain't about you. This is about the stream. Alright, so... Let me try and think. How would a silent drop of Atal look? We drop us up the way, pointing upwards, because that's where they fire the item upwards. Uh, so I need to be using... Observers, I think. Do I do back to back observers or what? Is there any consideration to a bubble water elevator? I just don't want to do that, quite frankly. They make noise. They take up a footprint here that I don't know I want to accommodate to then feed into a hopper, which will then feed the sub through. A dropper elevator keeps the items contained, keeps the same rate as the hoppers, and hopefully I can get a smaller footprint. Or at least a better footprint. I'm just trying to think how it works. I think... Can you make a drop elevator? Well, if I knew that, I'd be building it right now, Cosmo. I'm trying to remember how these things kind of look, and then figure out the mechanics to figure out how I put it together. I'm, I'm working backwards from having seen YouTube videos of creators just blitzing past systems they have and trying to rebuild it in my head. First, I, I should get some droppers, get some observers, and see if I can make something happen. Observers are side blocks? I believe so, yes. So, uh, observers, I'm going to need redstone, cobblestone, nether quartz. Ooh, cobblestone. I have a stack. Okay, I have a couple stacks. I'm fine. And then for droppers... It's just that. That's fine. I'm going to burn through a lot of cobblestone, but I should be okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's give that a whirl then. Let's just unpack some more redstone. Uh, oh, was that what the... Ah, oh, whatever. I think that's what the torch was on. Never mind. Not going to use a cobble deep slate. Valuable stuff, that one. Okay, so, in the redstones, let's grab four of these for now. Four of these. Actually, I think I need more of these. Let's not burn resources. Let's, 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 no, yeah. I'm going to need more of these anyway, so let's do it. Cool. Hello, Vala, how you doing? Hello, Big Danny. 
And apparently sea glasses were glitched yesterday, it was just patched. Oh, no deal. Not gonna lie, feel like we're getting a few more children here today than uh, usual for Minecraft streams. Uh, if you feel like acting like a child, go to a different stream, the Saiyan Atomy in a stream. My patience is hit at zero, I will just... Mr. Active, no you cannot. I'm just gonna start handing out bans, quite frankly. This ain't a place for children. So... Uh, let's think about this then. We go... If I place it this way, it droppers up. Yep. Oops. Am I an engineer? Nope, I'm not an engineer. I'm a Kengineer. Now if I... Oop, wrong way around. If we're going to get a signal into them, I imagine it would need to be this way. We observe something, signal goes in, makes it fire, right? Uh, does villager, sorry, does muting a villager with name tag also mute the sound effects of them interacting with their forex station? Uh, muting a villager with a name tag is a mod, fairly certain. It's a mod. Alright. So if that fires, that would trigger that. Then you can make an observe observe line going up. Yeah, if they observe each other, they'll then fire into each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have like... Oops. I need to get in a hole. And then what would be the f So if, if that detects something, this that would put signal into here, which should trigger that, right? If I put something in there, test that that theory is sound. That theory is not sound, so that, no, that doesn't. Okay. Because I was thinking that would detect something, which would power this block soft powering that one, which would send the item up, but it didn't. You need another observer line to power the droppers? Maybe. I'm trying to figure out which way it needs to go. The observers need to be flipped. I mean, they would still be pointing into each other one way or the other. That would... If this worked, that would detect something which would signal that, which would soft power this, but it didn't, so no, that's not it. No, so it's going to be different to that. Um, gods. See, I, I thought it was going to be something along the lines of this to power it, and then I'd need observers here somehow to do stuff which this would detect, which would power stuff up. What am I building? A silent drop evator is what I'm trying to build without looking up a guide. Which is probably silly. So go like that. The question is, how would this know in the first place to do anything? Uh, that's a good question. All right. That was easy. Uh, 
But if I did that right now, at the moment, if I triggered that... It did get to the top, but it wasn't silent. It wasn't silent. If I have a chest on the top, so he's putting it somewhere, would that make it silent? Oops. Oops. I'm just going to go around. Would that do the trick? Still making sound. Damn. Because if it makes sound, then every item that goes through there is going to be noisy. It'll go tick, 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 tick. It's not good. So I'm getting the items to the right place, but it's not soundless. I swear his droppers are needed to make it soundless. Drop saying quasi connectivity, power the droppers twice. How long are you playing? How do you mean? How long on this world? How long on this stream? How long since I purchased Minecraft? Because those are very different answers. Yeah, Chuck. Uh, it might be that. It's just, what am I doing wrong with my construction here that it's leading to said quasi-connectivity? Uh, because I need... Oh, hang on. No. No. Maybe put in two items? Let's see. Uh... Yeah, just, just literally two items. Nope, that made noise. Uh, with those two items, what happened to them? I've got one item there, one item in. So, single pulls through, single items through. Yeah, that's fine. How do you initiate the cycle when the item gets into dropper? Uh, that is a different circuit which I can sort out afterwards, but I need to figure out this first before I can get into that. Because if I don't know how to do this, I don't know what I'm putting where to then figure out the footprint of everything else around it. Okay, so this is not doing what I need it to do. Uh, if I put a line of blocks between the droppers and observers, do you think that'll stop the double powering? Alright, so if I go rip these out, and you're saying, let me just uh, rebuild this a little bit. Oh, yeah, that should be fine. With this. Those there, and then. This. Hey, there we go. That was the detail. We needed the extra block there. No sound. One item has gone from top to bottom. No sound. One item has gone from top to bottom. There it is. Silent drop of Ata. Okay, cool. It's all about triggering the system now to make that happen, but we have our bits and pieces. Good. So, uh, to make this all fire then, what I need is a detection circuit to know when it needs to be able to fire. Okie dokie then. Now this is where it gets interesting. So I, I need a system which will put the items into said drop of Vata. And then s tell the drop of Vata to actually get to work and send said items along. That's where things get a little bit more interesting. How do we go about that? I just hear pop pop in the distance from chickens doing chicken things. Uh, Chuck's saying you can make the observers go from a side instead of opposite to the droppers to make it easier to place a comparator. Oh right, yes, you mean like, have observers here, here, oops, just uh, <clears throat> fix that. 
So observer here, here. This one looking here into a block. And these ones just up, 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 down here still. No, like an L shape? L shape. Well, these need to point into a block which points into them. Some way, somehow. So they have to be straight at a block. Like a K shape where the stone breaks at the angle. I don't even know how you make K shape. Wait, did I learn to do it? I glanced at YouTube videos and I'm piecing it backwards together. Literally, I've seen other creators just wander through bases like, oh yeah, I've got my silent heart, blah, 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 and they just walk past it, and I've glanced at them and I'm reconstructing it from that little image. That's it. That and my knowledge of redstone. And also, apparently, Jock helping out a bit. Uh, if I did do that here, if I went uh, stone bricks there, and then just move this section over to here upwards, so up here, that would allow me to take a comparator signal out the bottom of this one and route it around to there. Yeah. That's it. Oh, well, that was what I was saying, Jock. And you said no. <laughs> Never mind. Miscommunication. They happen about 20,000 times every stream. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah. Blockity, 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 block. And then grab you guys back. Grab you guys back. You. That would be... You, you. Jump up here. Be easiest. Will it? It will not. This will be easiest. It will not. There we are. <laughs> I've made that more complicated than I needed to, but we got there in the end. That's fine. So, yeah, that'll trigger stuff. That's fine. No, it's okay, Chuck. It's fine. We got that. Okay, so with that all constructed here, I then take a comparator out of this one. So it'll detect when something is in there, saying there is something at the bottom. It needs to be drop evaded. Please drop evade. And uh, let me think. So that can. If that powers this, how am I going to get the signal there? So one red dust below and node block. Yeah, I could do node blocks, couldn't I? And I've not done redstone with node blocks proper before now, but you're very right, that could trigger things, yeah. Yeah, because they're empty at the moment, they're making noise, but they won't be empty when they are Triggered later, I mean just yeah, crafting table note block. So if I did Ah, is that double triggering? It's double triggering. Okay. It's double triggering. Uh and if I put a whole bunch... Okay, so I need to have a feed into here as well. Uh, hmm. Well, a feed into here is what I'm expecting to have to deal with anyway. So that's fine, because I can use a hopper to feed stuff in. So that is okay. But it is that whole double trigger, because it turns on, then off. So I potentially would want to use a... Oh, what's it called? A... Was it a T flip-flop? I think that's the name of it. Basically where it turns on-off into on-wait, then off-wait. 
no, that, that's another way to describe it. Uh, only turning on signals into signals, not the offs. Was it a D flip flop? No. Yeah. So, now I need to remember how to make one of those. <laughs> hmm. With the resources I have on hand, no less. Uh, hmm. If I had two droppers here... No. Turn a pulse into a hold? Yeah. Basically, I want to turn this effectively being a button press into a lever switch. That's what I'm basically turning it into. A button press into a lever switch. So how would I make that happen here? As compact as possible, which is always the fun bit. Because I want to... I want the on-off from this to only trigger the observer once. That That's the ultimate goal. The on-off to only trigger the observer once. Hmm. How do I do that? How do I do that? Because everything I'm thinking of, like any kind of action here, a uh, piston or whatnot, it would trigger it all times. I could. If I put a piston there, hang on, wait, you know, hmm. So what's in my mind about using piston with, I could use a repeater, piston with sand to create signal that goes through. Chuck say, my mind says, using a piston to get one tick pulse, making that into a trapdoor. Into an observer that could fail. It could fail, yeah, because this could end up with. No, this won't end up with too many resources going through. I just need to convert this properly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm gonna go to sleep, grab a piston, grab some sand or gravel, and see if I can create something out of that. We're getting somewhere. We we'll just need to make that somewhere go somewhere further. So I've got a piston. That is good. I'm going to carry a target block because you never know. They can come in handy. Uh, so I want a gravity block. Gravel. Let's see what I can make happen with that. Problem is, oh, piston's going to make noise though every time. That's no, no that's not good. Oh, that was a lag spike. That is no good. Can't be using piston. Piston makes noise. Noise is not good. That literally defeats the entire point of this. Yeah. I think that was my computer just doing something stupid in the background. Yeah, trapdoor makes noise. Gravity block would make noise with the piston. None of that works. All makes noise. I just ah. I'm thinking something to do with uh I'm gonna have to use some kind of electrical circuit then, because electrical circuits, yeah, redstone circuits they are silent. So that's what I'm gonna need to use, and I'm gonna need to basically have a manual uh system for toggle on off okay so how can I do that yeah, yeah. dropper into observer again noise if I have an empty dropper firing it makes noise that's no good
So how? What, what's the old redstone method of making a flip flop? I'm, I'm going to scope this out in a really unnecessarily large fashion. See if I can try and remember. So if we have signal out. And I need more repeaters. I think repeats are going to be order of the day here. And input. Okay. Now, if we if we just did lines between this, that would be stupid. Oh, it doesn't even work. Because uh, <laughs> that would go on but off, which is identical to what we have. This is an achievement, I think. This is your old school repeaters. That's not what we need. So what I need is a memory circuit. If I was going to do this with redstone, it would be a memory circuit. How did we build those in the day? I, I am wanting not just a memory circuit, but a memory circuit I toggle, which I think would be done with repeaters. Locking repeaters? Locking repeaters? That is... Don't remember what lock and repeaters is. Uh, no, 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 no. So, when this produces signal like this, I want it to also remember that it's producing signal. Even when that turns off, right? Why does that connect to it? Come on, don't do that to me. This is very clunky, but trying to remember the actual mechanics of it. Take it from there. Wouldn't need the true repeaters, but that. I think as a memory circuit, but I don't know if that's then going to help us. Because yeah, that turns off, but that stays on. So at the moment, I've, I've managed to lock this out because we got the signal over there. I've locked this out. I'll figure out how to compress this afterwards, if it's all possible. Bedrock barrier on the torch. Don't know what that is, sorry Chuck. Uh, so what I would want for this to then work is also when I pulse in to toggle this off as well. Nah, but if I'm toggling that on and off, I have my toggle circuit, this is pointless. This is just a memory circuit. Ah! Something needs to change in order for the circuit to evolve. If you make a repeater input power into the side of a repeater, it locks the second one. Like that. Oh! Oh! I had no idea that was a thing! Okay. Right, cool. Let's get back to the mechanics then, and now I know that that is an option. Right, okay. Yeah. So, uh, at the moment, I've got this torch here. It is keeping the memory circuit going, 
and keeping this off. So I want it that when... When it receives one signal, such as this one, it goes on. But when it receives two signals, it goes off. Which would be an... So be uh what's it? Not or yeah, not or gate. Neither one or the other, right? No. <sighs> okay. So when signal comes in from here, I uh, have torch there, which is currently active. Let's invert it. I think I need to come further around. And uh What have I what have I created? <laughs> Quite honestly, what have I created? Uh it's it's the fact that I need to avoid the noise, yeah. It's the fact that I need to avoid the noise. God damn it. I, this this it's a fundamental feature that I simply haven't committed to memory, and so unless I could solve it right here, right now, the only way to solve it would be to just look it up. It will probably be somewhere listed under Etho inventions, like the Ethonian hopper clock, because it's probably going to be Etho. He's OG in the Redstone world. Okay, let's disconnect this one for a moment, just so it doesn't do anything. Go on, signal in. Which turns off that, which would no longer power this, that would power on. Unless... No. Let's take that off now. Okay, power's gone in that there. Now what I want is that after a moment when this inevitably turns off again this would say on and so that would be a repeater here wouldn't it? So then when this turns off that stays on. Yeah. Now if I get rid of that What am I doing here? So. Signal comes in. This turns off. So this turns on. Right? No. I'm really getting lost in the logic of this one. You can tell how long it's been since I've done... Redstone engineering. You think uh, repeat of lock and lock in both sides have to stick would be easier? See, so it probably chop, but I haven't figured out even the base logic of what I'm even working with so far. And that makes it difficult for me to work with the locking of repeaters. Or any kind of clock and lock and whatever, because I don't yet have the logic in my head as to what I'm trying to achieve. Oh, I almost want to get out a pen and paper and just write this down, but that's not going to make for a very good stream moment, is it? So, <laughs> when signal in, I want output as well. And I want that to invert something. So, in fact, yeah, that shouldn't be directly connected at all, should it? No. When signal comes in, it needs to switch something from one to the other, so that this turns on or off. Okay, let's just clear out my area. 
Give myself a nice fresh workspace. Okay, I didn't mean to hit that. Nice fresh workspace here. Let's rethink this through again. There we are. Give me all my blocks. Signal comes in, something needs to change. Change from on to off and hold it, even when this signal goes. So this stage here, signal has come in, so something that was on goes off. Or it could be a repeater actually, it could be something that was off goes on, because repeater would, yeah, repeater would fire at this point. Would that be too late if I'm feeding it in with a hopper? Because in the next tick another item will come in and now this is never going to turn off again. So then what? Hopper takes four redstone ticks to feed an item. Oh, does it? Okay, that does give us some time to work with that. We've got four redstone ticks to work with. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Just got to be very careful on the repeaters. Repeaters take time. <laughs> uh... Signal comes in. Now, okay, so the theory on using these to lock stuff then is that signal comes in, that locks you into whatever state you're in. But what's going to cause this to stay on to lock it? <laughs> I could add a delay and see what happens. Uh, I don't even know what I've just built there, but let's... I have built the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not what I need. And now I've just made an even longer clock. Actually, couldn't that just do it? Couldn't I just literally just... If I had a long enough clock... That I would just trigger this... Every now and then. Yeah, it would be constantly running. But if I had it at the same period as when items get fed through... The system should work. Not only should it work, but that would also then be protected against having too many items in here because it's not dependent on the state of items or not items. I could just constantly run it. The whole footprint doesn't even need to consider a uh, output there. Like, I, I could... I could literally just shove that under it as is. Could even lock the clock when no items are in. Uh, to lock the clock when no items are in, I would need to have an inverted signal out of this and the footprint on that is going to get bigger. I could, but that's, that's going to be an increase in size considerably. But just this in itself is a footprint I can just sequester underneath that. Oh, it won't be noiseless. Yeah, I no, I would need to do that, Chalky, right? I would need to uh, silence it. 
when there's no items in there because otherwise this will just keep on bleeping ticking this when there's no items to go through and then it wouldn't be noiseless except when sorting and that's just somehow worse <laughs> But if I powered this at any point, that would come off. When I unpower it, that goes on and then starts feeding itself. Yeah, okay, that would that would do the trick there. What I'm making? I'm making the silent drop evader of an item source because I've never made one before and I refuse to look up a guide. So I'm figuring it out. That's the fun of it. I'm figuring it out. Have to lock both repeaters at the same time? I wouldn't need to lock repeaters, Chuck. No. Because if the comparator... I can build that here. We have whatever item. I'm just going to use a hopper for the sake of it. Actually, I didn't need to build that far away. What am I doing? So as soon as this detects there's an item in there, power goes in, torch goes off, system goes off. So I'd need to invert that. As soon as I take it out again, clock restarts. You invert that signal, clock starts when item in. Clock stops when no item in. And this should be ticking at the rate to handle the items. Because this has got a total of four ticks delay. So that should match the rate of hopper item movement, right? If I uh, I can compare to the items here invisibly. Okay, no, I can't. I'm feeding into that one. I am a dumb. Uh, <clears throat> is this the right speed or is this too slow? I'll find out in a sec. So I can see it there in the background. On, off, on, off, on, off. It's slightly too slow. So do we have a total of three ticks in those? I think that's the right speed. It feels it. I'd have to test it, but I think that's the right speed. Yeah, you don't need to help. You can sit back, watch, and learn. Yeah, the torch is one tick, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we've got two ticks, one tick, one tick. There we are. Four ticks. That should match the speed of it. Oh, balls. So I need a way to put that in. So I need a comparator out of this. Like so. Which needs to go into a block. Which powers the torch. Now how am I going to get the signal in the right place? Actually, if I put a redstone dust here and a torch there. Ah, you took my piston. Let's, uh. <clears throat> oh, yeah. No block. That's why. Gib. Right then. Now that won't trigger. That goes in there. Torch goes off. That goes out of there. Torch goes on. Right. That gives me my lock. Right? Uh, so that gives my me my inverter. Now I need to create a lock out of that. Actually, I might as well just. I just need. Yeah, yeah. I need that, and then that into here. To invert whatever's going on here, which is redstone torch currently off because no items in system um, then we have repeater repeater no wait wait I need that to go back into the block it's on I might want to just drop this whole system down a block <laughs> so it's underground let me figure it out first then I can drop it down I'll figure it out and then drop it. Yeah, that makes sense. So 
dropping it, I might have a better space to work with. Okay, sleep, drop it, figure it. I need it dropped because I can't have that much of a footprint in my walking space. That just, again, defeats the whole purpose of going with all this. I want it to be quiet, I want it to be out of my way. This is engineering. A set of constraints, we gotta work within them. So yeah, take this out. Take that out. Uh, that needs to be single line. It can't be any longer than that because it needs to detect on a single item. So that's just a fact right there. Am I in single player or multi? This is single player. So this then... I'm not sure where I put my shovel and other bits. I, I'm accumulating crap again, aren't I? What's that? That might actually solve the problem. Uh, let's shove some bits away for a moment. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, yeah, shove those to the side for now. This might solve a problem, not sure yet, but could do what I need to do for something. Let's look at this. Okay, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So if I had torch here. No wait, let's not put that there. If I have this as a target block, that allows me to turn that into it forcibly, which is the whole point of target blocks, so that's good. That's not powering this dust, so I need sadly dirt there. Bring it out. That will turn off this until we have an item in there. And with that, we can replicate this. So, beta, beta, add a tick. There. I'm left with a little bit of a footprint, which I can put some carpets over. If I... Shit, I broke something. What'd I break? Okay, what if I put uh, a bunch of items in? Is it just because it's running out? I don't know why it makes a lot of noise at the end there, but okay. Yeah, I know there was a torch burnout, I just wasn't sure why I had a torch burnout there. Something caused it, obviously, it's just I couldn't see what. Uh, well, it was hidden. <laughs> what led to torch burnout when I covered it? If I cover just those... No burnout. If I cover these... No burnout. If I cover these... No burnout. This one block... Burnout. It's this block. This block right here. Why does this block right here cause burnout? What's happening? I put a block on top of torch. Oh, is, is that that a loop right there? So that when this... I see. Okay. That's fine. So what I need to do then is put a block here which doesn't conduct redstone. 
I need a block there that doesn't conduct redstone. Uh, I know that I can use glass for that, but I don't want a glass hole. So, is there a block I could put there that doesn't conduct redstone that would work for this principle? Slab? Slab. You legend. Yes. Slab action. Right there. Yes. I forgot about that. Awesome. Right then. Okay, so I have made an absolute pig's ear of the design of this floor. So let me attempt to fix that. I'm just going to use slabs here as well. There we are. And uh, I have that block on me, which goes here. And then I just need to put some carpet over this. That's fine. Or I could put slightly other places slabs. Carpet would look better probably, but eh, oh, it's fine. So this will make noise when it runs out of items to send. Which, by the way, let's grab. But whilst it is sending items, it is noiseless and transporting the items. And just like that, I've done it. A bit of noise when it signals, hey, it's done. I will take that, actually. Yeah, it's, it's basically a it's complete alarm. I will take it. Slightly annoying. I would have preferred it to be completely silent and choose if I want an alarm there. But you know what? I will take that. I will take that. That is good enough. So, this can now leave this spot. I put away all my tools. Uh, let's, let's, let's clean up this first. Use the redstone to figure out the redstone. Practical problem solved. It may not have been the most efficient way of doing it. I could have just looked up a guide, but I've learned or recovered learning, remembering bits and pieces integral to how redstone works. That's crucial. Uh, could this all be moved over one? That is a problem that I choose not to solve. No. Absolutely fecking not. <laughs> Wonder if I could hook up a school centre to make a custom alarm. Uh, well, with that happening already, I actually don't know. No, if, if I wanted a custom alarm, I would take the signal off the comparator here. So I'll take an inverted signal off it and then put that through to something. That's how I get a custom alarm. Okay, so that doesn't need to be there anymore. That is the process up. We have that into there. And that's our input. Which, now look at it, isn't sufficient, so... I would need to have stacks of inputs. I mean, I could water stream and... No. I, I could just... hop a chain and extend it. Uh, it's only meant to be a sorter. If I need to extend it, I can add stuff. It's fine. It's fine. That can go. That can go. Disconnects those units there. That is my access block to this side. I've got access underneath. I have access to all of these areas where I can set all my filters. I've got my overflow chest. That is all looking fine and dandy. This does stick out. That's because I built it to stick out. Uh, so I could shave off a bunch of this blade to move it in. I wouldn't have to shave off too much, theoretically, because I could also then move that redstone underneath. Ah, okay. I would probably have to get rid of the, this entire blade, but I could move this round. If I got rid of that blade, I could theoretically extend this one across. Oh god, that's a whole load of re... Ah. <laughs> no, this is the downside of doing it as you go. I could rotate this whole thing around, have the input chest be right here, 
this chest here, that whole stack behind it, shove the items out that way, have the redstone clock underneath hidden and back here, so this whole thing will be sticking that way. And then feed the items into a blade going across here, I'd be able to access from like, here would probably be the first blade, so I'd give me an extra two blades on that side. Then it could come across and take it from there. Poop. That would clean this up significantly. Alternatively, I could just move the room across. I mean... It does sound better. I can just move this across by one tile. Rebuild those tiles, one across. Do a little bit of terraforming. Rather than completely redo this. Yeah, that's that's probably going to be the next thing. That That's probably what I'll have to do next with that one. But for now... With no filters set, I have a working storage system with... Okay, let's test filters. Let's, uh... Let's use chests as helper blocks. This is my stone brick filter. And then this... is gonna be my oak plank filter. And then this is going to be my redstone filter. Uh, do I have more items I could do? Just temporary quartz. This will be my quartz filter, and I'm just going to block up all of these with helper chests for now. So I just need to make sure I definitely do not put a chest in here. If I put a chest through the system, it will currently break instantly and catastrophically. I'm going to make... Uh... If I go one comparator here as well, that should then fill more comparators and then put the rest through. At nearly the end. And then everything else will go there. Yeah, so let's do this then. So, I, uh, as long as I don't put chests in, <laughs> everything is fine. So, let me just put through do, 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 you and you and you and you and you. Uh, yep, yeah, just pop all that stuff in and see what happens. And here, not a single sound. None of peep not a tick now this is an old school sorter as it were i have seen designs which will instead collect up an item detect or discover a filter that matches and then send items to that filter to then allow other things to be sent out no Why were we making noise? I don't know why we were making noise. Might be lag. Yeah, that that could have just been lag. Yes, I lit. Why? Oh, okay, hang on. This one's... No. Are you quasi-powering that? It's not... Chalk, it was flashing and this was ticking in sequence. 
Okay, not quasi power. Power. It was powering across the gap, wasn't it? Freaking voltage too high. I mean, that's sorted. That. Did I not put its filtered item in? I guess I didn't have enough planks. Okay, my bad. <laughs> did I do the same with this one as well? Redstone dust? Oh, I just didn't put the redstone dust in. Bink, bink. Yeah. There's the quartz. Um, I think I set no filter to this one. Yeah, no filter. So there should be nothing there, 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 there. This one. Comparators. Oh yeah, it filled... It's grabbed comparators. Oh. Oh wait, repeaters. Oh. Mm. Did I get my own mental wires crossed? Yeah, if I go... There. Now if I put the uh, logs in, we should see this light over here blink. Cool, yeah. And then there's the extra one, because because of the construction, a little bit of uh, buffer is required. But that's fine, that's fine. So, with this then, just checking on this, do I need to take out this blade? Is this blade too close to that? Causing it to tick. Uh, if I go... If I temporarily disable this, just so I can shape this, if I go like so, and then put mix things up like that and that. Okay, this should... Let's see what happens here. Does it start ticking like stupid? It's powering it. It's definitely powering it. Yeah. So let's disconnect that one entirely. Let's just not use that blade. Oh god, that's going to filter the whole thing out, isn't it? I mean, that's fine. Clean it out for me. If I move that down to uh, here... And now I do the same again. So I'm going to put some of these in. And then some things that aren't filtered. So we'll just go down to the end. Now I should have no problem with it. So that's lit. It is operating. We're going to see some blinking soon over here. Blinking. No ticking. Yep. That redstone torch, which powers the air around it, apparently was further powering this. And now we've heard the tick, it's done. There it is. The voltage is too high. <laughs> Fuck this game. Okay. We'll just uh we'll just tear that out. That's fine. It's fine. Something to be aware of. You need that little bit of extra gap. What, how? Okay. Uh, I pr could probably demonstrate it happening. Let me... I need another dropper. I, c I can take one out of the sequence at the moment. Nothing will break if I do that. That had items in it. That had items in it.
Fuck off. Uh, hmm. I'm getting increasingly stumped, not gonna lie. Increasingly stumped. So, if my theory about the issue is correct, if I do this, uh, have this here, air gap, item in it, if I put torch to you, will it turn on? No. No. But. But it was the torch here. Gap thing that was. That was causing it. Coordinate dependent? That's the same coordinates. Oh, yeah, okay. No. 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 Just, just no. N none of no. I, I just ah, oh fuck, absolutely not. Stand and listen for the ticking. Everything's going through. Is it when a significant number of items enter in? Oh god, no, 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 no. No, 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 I don't know if I have enough uh, lightning rods around. I'm sure I do, but I don't remember, so I'm not risking it. Okay. No witches? Yeah, I do have a lightning rod there, so it should be okay. Yeah, okay. We're good. Woo! All right. Ah, slight, slight bit of a... Uh, Ooh, panic moment there. It's fine. Okay, so... Maybe it was because I was using lots of small counts of the items in their stacks. Maybe that was somehow relevant. Um, if I do that and that listen I mean so far so good and it takes what it's done I don't know how or why the torch that doesn't power it was having an effect there, Chuck. I have no explanation for that. But it was that blade. This blade, when it was receiving items, or f flicking between receiving and not receiving, was somehow causing this one to trigger to make noise. That's all I've got. That's the beginning, middle, end, and entirety of my understanding there, and I have nothing on it. Nothing. To explain what the hell just happened there. Did I not set a filter on this one? Did I clean it? Oh, yeah, no, I'm being an idiot. Filters go here. 
Yeah, that's fine. Give me those. Yep, 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 that's fine. Gib. That's fine. Gib. Nope. Temporarily a problem. Problem resolved itself. There we are. It's the There we are. Those are all now muted. They are not filtering anything. Uh, let's take the other items out of here just so they don't get in the way of anything at any point. You as well. And you. And then that is the uh, the overflow storage which goes into there. And then I just have this chest stuffed next to it for no good reason. Right then. Okay, cool. I uh, I think that achieves it. It doesn't make sense to me, I'll be honest. I've hurt my head as well as shocks, and probably most other people watching are just a little bit late with it. The best explanation you have is that thunder affected the torch. Uh, ignoring the fact that the thunder hadn't arrived by the time we got the problem. Maybe we've just found a bug. Something about this particular spot right here the voltage is higher when we're at exactly 570 858 on this world that that spot right there is where things go wrong given that is an unreasonable answer it's probably not that but i don't know what it is as soon as i removed it no more issues none Everything here has the correct number of items in it, which is zero. All the stuff has moved along because Hopper's moved stuff along. It all ended up in chests where it should be, filtered or not filtered. Yeah. And as far as inputs could go, I could stack double chests here or whatever. But this allows me to just chuck stuff in and it will go through the filter system. And as I have no filters, all of that dirt, confirm sent, give it a moment. But, 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 there it is. And that is how redstone works. Thank you very much. Mm. If you have enjoyed this stream, make sure to subscribe. Hit the follow button if you haven't already, and I'm just gonna go to bed because what the hell? I don't I don't understand why half of any of all that is what it is, but I figured out enough to make a working system and let someone else cry over the bugs. Later, I will reshape the entire building. Yay! Hey, look look at the villages. The villages have a nice place. The villages have a nice awning on their training area. So that that's good. Good villager trading hall awning. Villager trading bazaar, because it's not a hall, it is a bazaar. As in this game is very bazaar. I have quite a bit more iron to work with as well now from all that building, so that's good. I will be able to construct all the things and then probably tear it down again later as well, because screw me, I guess. That's all we got time for. We are well over time because it was I was not leaving that unfinished. I absolutely refused. I hope you have enjoyed today. I certainly had fun trying to figure it all out and succeeding, barring the bug or whatever it was that I'm not going to think about. Ask Mumbo Jumbo. He's the Mumbo Jumbo of Minecraft, so he'll know. Maybe. But that's all we got time for. Thank you very much for joining in. I will be live again on Sunday with some more good old Warframe. At least Warframe makes... No, no it doesn't. See you Sunday. Bye-bye for now.